Huh? Yes. Swifty? Uh, yeah, I have, I have a Taylor Swift tattoo. Oh, do you? Yeah. I'm sorry. Welcome back to... <laughs> So rude. It's been 0.3 seconds. The Grey Beard Podcast. Wow, that's really quiet. <laughs> it's like you can't even hear crickets. <laughs> Too quiet. Yeah. So with me this evening, as promised, I have Miss Josie Valentino. Valentine? Valentino. I can't ever remember that shit. It's Valentine. I just say Josie V. Yeah. You can call me Joe. Yeah. And Cameron Lott. <laughs> <laughs> They've both been with us before, obviously. I think I want to say that you were my first interview in this here room, Mm -hmm. in this place. Yeah, last July. Get closer to that. Last July. If you hear it clicking out, that's because you're not close enough. You can move that that mic towards your face. Yeah, pull it towards you. You want to lean back. Oh. Yeah. Don't get excited. It's all right. I'm trying to sit up straight. Oh, why? Uh, For medical reasons? We're all friends here. I I was going to tell you guys to wear your fucking PJs, man. We should have just like... I think I'm gonna. Almost worse, okay. Yeah, next week when we have Jen, I'm just gonna be like PJ time. Do a PJ episode. That's what we're gonna do. Absolutely. I love that. I'm gonna yeah. show up in my underwear. Okay. Oh. That's what I wear to bed every night. Well, um, um my PJs. I'm not sure. I want to see that. I think it's that. like a onesie theme. So. Uh, <laughs> I haven't gotten a memo. Hey, yet. boy! No one wants to see your wee dandy Doblin. I don't want to see it either. <laughs> uh, well, there's maybe one person that wants. Anyways. This is a serious conversation we're about to have, okay? (laughs) Let me compose myself. Oh, by the way, shout out, Stay Young Clothing. Yes. Got the chrome tee. Hit them up. Anyways, um, (laughs) ADD is the best. Yes. Really, what is the difference between ADD and ADHD? Oh, okay. Uh, Well, one's hyper, like adult attention deficit. I, I fuck if I know. I was too, like, you know, I just don't pay attention a lot of the time unless you're sitting right in front of me. Right. It's okay. You can blow smoke in here. Thanks. You're a Swifty. That's what that's what we were saying earlier when we popped in. Your Swifty privilege. She's got a tattoo. Mm-hmm. Wow. That's pretty cool. Anyway, so what have you been up to? I know what you've been up to, but we'll get into what you've been up to, too. <laughs> but I haven't seen you in a hot minute other than, you know, the few or five, you know, five or so minutes that we, like, bump into each other at that place. Yeah, um, <clears throat> I've been really busy, but I've been modeling a lot more. I've seen that um, on your Instagrams. Yeah, I got laid off from my job. Like, He's pulling up your like Instagram. Like seven days before the fashion show, and I didn't have time to like process that because we had the fashion show. And then afterwards, yeah, I was like, um, let me see if I can pursue something creative. Like, yeah. I'm at such a good age right now. Like, I'm 26. I'm about to be 27. This yeah. is, like, a good time to, like, go after. It's the best time. Yeah. Because when you get to my age, you're like, shit. Yeah, so it's been great. <laughs> I actually just, like, I like modeling because I'm the type of person that, like, I I don't wait for somebody to ask me. Like, if I have an idea, I'll reach out to a photographer and say, this is my idea. Do you want to help me with my it? My phone has not been ringing. That's okay. <laughs> you're next. You're next. It's your next. I keep hearing that. You know, it's okay. You are. I'm all. Next. Listen, I'm 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 almost as busy as you guys. So. <laughs> but I got we got to get back in the water. I definitely <sighs> miss this. Oh, okay, that was one well, of my favorite. I want to do a, beautiful. I want to do a shoot in the new bathrooms. <laughs> I will one hundred percent do that. I'm obsessed with that. Yeah, bathroom. yeah, it's pretty dope. I mean, I already did one, but it was like really dark. That was a good one. Grimy black and white. Oh, yeah. That's the one Jim did right there. That green one. Yeah, that's beautiful. Yeah. That's one of my favorites. Oh, my gosh. Isn't it's that all, amazing? She, it's all right. She did. I mean, if it wasn't for her, it would have been a bad picture. It was like the most beautiful place. Like when we got done shooting, um, this like tree had like a branch fall off and had a flower on it. And I literally like, said, thank you to the natural <laughs> spring. I was like, thank you for letting us that. be here. Yeah, it's you beautiful. said you felt like a little fairy. I did. There was such a beautiful like magic there and we like took so many good pictures. And I love how the water is like reflecting on your skin right. too. Like it's just super, super Yeah, it's really amazing. pretty there. I, it doesn't look like much, but it's a literally like right behind where she's standing, you can see the water bubbling up. Yeah. Like it's a natural spring. Beautiful. And it, it used to be, there's a wall dividing everything right now and there used to not be any of that and it was just like a giant there was actually a swimming pool that they built out of like bricks and mortar it's so, so like it was Cameron. a community the community like natural spring swimming pool that people would oh my God. and then they um well you got to be careful with some of those are a little racy <laughs> oh <my> goodness <laughs> um wow <laughs> but no yeah i've just been freelance modeling and just kind of pursuing it and seeing what i can do and um 
it all kind of came together because literally randomly Cameron was like, what do you think about a Jack's Fashion Experience model camp? And I was like, that's dope. This is my. So you're going to segue why. right into that. I didn't want to no, talk I'm about so that. Sorry. Yet. <laughs> We're going to get there. We're I'm gonna so get sorry. There. No, it's cool. I, and we are going to talk about. Oh, that. look at that picture. That's what we're here okay, for. That was the first shoot that Cameron and I worked together. I had worked for this boutique. Cameron was literally. Y'all all look like little Barbie dolls. Thank you. That was my skinniest. I um, like E.T. in that picture. But Cameron was walking across the Shut sidewalk. And I saw Cameron. And I was like, Cameron, <laughs> come in and like. Cameron, come in, and then he had an idea, and then I had an idea, and then boom. Oh, yeah, that was with um, Tomato Vintage. Yeah. I looked her up, and her Instagram is gone. So uh -oh. I think, yeah, I think, oh. I think she's done. She got hacked, maybe? It, it was, it's mm. it's rough out here for small business It's tough out here for a amount. pimp. Well, and the rent, yeah, that too. Yeah. And the rent, and most of these places is like really crazy expensive. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Ooh. Was that at Coast? You at Comfort Ooh, Closet? Yeah, let's. Mm -hmm. uh, don't play that. Okay. Yeah, don't play that. Those were bad. Those were bad, <laughs> man. They, they you go down too her. far, you're going to get into <laughs> Joe the Ho. Wow. I love how your profile, it almost tells a story. Like, you can tell where you Thank were. Thank you. Yeah, that's. Uh, it tells a story. Like, look at you now. You're more editorial now. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And it's more, I don't know. I just. It's a grid. Yeah. It's like an actual curated grid. I don't curate shit. My grid is so fucking. It, it, it. Uh, reflects my personality. Mm -hmm. I love that picture. For sure. Oh, wait, cool video. Um, but. Not a picture, but yes. <laughs> Sorry, which one? The black and white to the left. Oh, this one? Yeah, this was like the last shoot that I did. Um, I met Steven um, at the fashion show, and he was like, hey, we should do a shoot together. And as soon as the fashion show wrapped, I was like, hey, how soon do you want to do this? Because I have a couple ideas. And he was like, yeah, like, let's do it. And then, yeah, we worked really well together, and it was really fun to work with a male model for the first Is time. Is that... um? What is his name on uh, Instagram? Uh, Tano seven seven seven. Yes, I yeah. met him and I we, I followed him. Yeah, I, I'm I'm gonna I'm, I might try and do a little shoot with him. I super high fashion. Yeah, yeah, super, he's got a good look. Super, um, super good to work with. A great friend. Um, great connection. Seems really nice. Yeah. yeah, I took a couple of shots at that night. Oh, at the black and white. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah. His his haircut was like everything. Like it is everything. Wow. Well, hey, All right, we'll go back. On the <laughs> <laughs> go back on. It was really Cam, fun. Cam, you know I where got it's to, at. I got to like direct a male model too, so like that was really exciting, and it yeah. was nice that I did it. Yeah, Stephen, he's just so great to work with. Absolutely. Yeah. And I mean, Cameron was the photographer, so let's massive shout out to that. Mm -hmm. Eek. Yeah. <laughs> what are you shooting on over there, Cam? Um. Well, Ray has Ray, my boss. He has blessed me to shoot with the Sony A7 III. Nice. I'm shooting with a 16 by 35 millimeter, and I am learning, you know, exposure and just temperature and just you know clarity um, yeah. of all the photos. And I was actually telling someone too. Um, this year, I actually want to focus more on photography mm -hmm. and being behind the camera instead of in front of the camera. So. Keep talking. <laughs> I love that. Um, I love that for me. And, um, you know, it's 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 a, it's a different road. It's a different role when, you know, you're a model, but then being a photographer, too. I think it's just a good skills, a skill set to have being a model and then also being a photographer because you know your angles. Right. You know how to kind of work with your photographer. Don't ever try to... Um, you know, like each photographer is different. So don't ever try to be like, oh, no, this is, you know, how I shoot and I want you to shoot that way. But no, you are more or less more confident and comfortable with talking to your photographer. So I always tell models it's always great to learn photography because it's a great way to market yourself. Yeah. Like you're not always going to be able to find a photographer. So you might as well get yourself a nice little camera, learn how to shoot it and market yourself. A hundred percent. And it helps when you do work with uh, a photographer that you already kind of know how to pose yourself and whatnot. Absolutely. So. Mm -hmm. I agree. Uh, that's probably one of my weakest, uh, my weak points, the posing. Posing, okay. Yeah. I I, huh? That's where I come in, though. That's, like, where <laughs> I found, like, my niche of coming in is, like, being able to model coach. So, like, if the photographer wants a certain idea but he doesn't want to leave from where he's at because he's got that angle – he yeah. conveys to me, I go and I work the model right. how she wants to be. So I um, I feel like that's hard because we put a lot of pressure on fit. Look at you. It's so crazy. So that, guess that beach one, it's so crazy. So Steven actually took those photos of me at the beach. And I just was so proud of him because 
he's never worked a professional camera before. And my advice to him was when you, of course, I showed him the button. Yeah, yeah, trigger yeah. Button, but I told him, like, when I'm shooting, I shoot for the magazine. That was my advice to him. So when he took the photos and I, I saw them back, I was like, oh, my God. I was like, Steven, like, these are actually really good. And <laughs> I don't know. It's just like when you step out and you just have faith and you do it, like, you surprise yourself. And he was so happy he did these. He was like, oh, God, I want to be a photographer oh, cool. now. But Yeah, the, it's fun. It's good to have to put. You know, put so the fun. the tool in someone that's never had it, you Absolutely. know, put it in their hand and they catch the bug. Yeah. Yeah. So it was really, this was a great time. And, um, you know, he, he did his thing and I was just so proud of him. Um, oh yeah. The, I like that one cause of the pop of color. Oh, with that the, metal one. With that, the burgundy dress. Oh, okay. Yeah. So Sorry. my agent actually took that, um, Agnes, shout out to Agnes. I love you. Um, she's the one that signed me to pose with models and, um, this was actually her photography and, you know, I, Obviously, I'm feminine, but I don't wear dresses, so this was really out of my comfort zone. Um, but I think that's the good thing about being a model, too, mm -hmm. is kind of just stepping out of your comfort zone and getting results like this. It's just really amazing. So um, shout out to Agnes for putting me in a dress because I would never be in another dress again. <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah. Haven't you worn one, though? No, another one? You not sure? since then, no. Mm -mm. I have, like, this cloak-like dress uh -huh. accessory, but, like, something like that, like, ball You know gown. what gets me is the tall shoes, mm -hmm. okay? You're already eight feet tall. Oh, yeah, the platform. And I'm, I feel like a, you know, a little guy. <laughs> uh, I'll never forget it. It was the funniest thing. Uh, what, what Was that the fashion show? That's what it was. And he comes up to me, and he goes... <laughs> Stop. Fucking leans down to hug me. I'm like, God damn, I feel so fucking Aww, tiny right now. Yeah. Oh, look at you, little fella. I can't. Yeah. Thanks for coming. Thanks for coming on out. But you know how awkward and crooked I am. Like, I probably was being very dramatic when I leaned that low. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you are pretty dramatic. I'm really dramatic. Right. I'm that's okay. Really dramatic. We we love you anyway. <laughs> oh, I love that shoe. Um, Elliot took that picture. It was really cool. Mm -hmm. Uh, Barry took. That picture with me on the chair. Just <gasps> Barry took that picture. I mm -hmm. love that picture. Absolutely beautiful photography. We Which shot one? that at Camp Millen with the um, right there. That one where I'm on the chair. Oh yeah, yeah. Barry took that. Shout out to Barry. Um, you know, all the photographers are really great. Like Jim shot some really great photos. Barry did amazing photos. Sophie shot some really good photos. Again, I love Barry because he shoots for the magazine. Like these could easily mm -hmm. be in the magazine. Yeah, um, that's. That's like my art expression. Like I'm like, if it can be in a magazine, then you know you're shooting correctly. So I don't know. When I shoot, I just literally I look through the viewfinder, a, a you know, or the EVF, and I just what shoot. looks good to me. Yeah. And if and then I'll look at it, and if it doesn't look right, I try to find a different angle, mm -hmm. you know, and then I follow the light. I mean, I, I've always been a natural light photographer, which studio photographers mm -hmm. fucking hate. Mm -hmm. But uh, because but, you yeah. know, like that. Looks good to me. It looks natural Look light. Yeah, so that actually, I shot that at, um, a shout out to um, Ilalis. Um, she uh, moved to, I think she's in Texas right now, but we shot that actually in my apartment. So that's my apartment. Yeah. No, it looks and, great. Uh, yeah, she did a really great job. This was actually my first professional photo shoot. Mm -hmm. um, and this is when I was like, okay, like I can, I, I, I can, can do, do something this. in front of the camera. So yeah, I really 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 impressed myself with this shoot so yeah Just shout out to ilali yeah. the link for the disco ball water pitcher i'm like i still have that too sorry i didn't send you the link <laughs> okay, it, was, it was 35 <laughs> weeks ago i didn't even get the link yet so sorry love fuck um oh i remember when we styled that one the green yes. the sunglasses mm -hmm. yeah very editorial absolutely love it styled by josie right here in tomato vintage shop hope you're doing well i love styling um but yeah all right so uh talk to me well first i want to talk about the uh if you can yeah if you're if you're able absolutely uh, if it's yeah. top secret you can just tell me to shut oh the fuck God, up stop it but fuck the next the jack's up. fashion experience yes now do we have we nailed down like a date not a date but we can say because i think the last time I was on your podcast, I said May. Yeah. Um, but we actually have another opportunity in May. And so. Elliot kind of told me like a few venues that, that y'all might go with. Yep. So um, if not collab, um, we would definitely be looking into the Glass Factory, mm. um, which kind of gives that same kind of raw warehouse, but kind of like do your own thing type of vibe. Like steampunk. 
I Kinda. love that. Yeah, it's very just bare bones, but it's not bare enough where you're like, oh, I have to add this, that, and the other. But it's bare enough where you're like, okay, I can do anything in here and it can look good. I'd like to so see it's a, a blank steampunk, palette. A steampunk yeah. walk. That'd be dope. <laughs> so Glass Factory is a contender, and then we're also looking at the Lobby Jacks um, by the beaches. Um, just because, you know, we want the Jacks fashion experience to be able to, you know, exist in dif- different demographics. Right. So one was on Riverside, which was successful. So maybe having one at the beach will be successful, too. Um, so we're looking into that. Yeah. I don't and, see why not. Yeah. And I, then, I mean, I feel like a lot of the people that come to, you know, the collab or any mm-hmm. of those places, I feel like they all come from like Southside, Beach Boulevard, mm-hmm. you know, that exactly. area. Exactly. You know, Correct. Uh, mm-hmm. I know that everybody that comes here is like, it's, it was a fucking hour drive. You come? <laughs> I'm like, okay, well, so sorry. So you know. sorry. <laughs> <laughs> but um, yeah, so we are looking to host our next Jack's Fashion Experience season two, um, uh, late June, early July. <laughs> you heard it here, folks. Late June, early July, and we're not changing it from there. It's late June or early July. No exact date, but it's somewhere close enough. Near, yeah, somewhere we have near a, that time. a general target. Mm-hmm. Yes. Nailed it. We're so super excited too. We got new vendors in place. Oh? new looks on the runway. We're okay, just, we're so excited. Dope. Yeah. <laughs> Do we know? Can we talk about the vendors? No secret. Yeah. So, um, I mean, everyone know you're you getting know. all the juicy details. I know. Well, that's yeah. what I do. <laughs> so I'll say this much. Um, any of the existing vendors are always welcome back um, to the show. So you may be seeing them and their new looks and their new collections and drops on the runway. And then uh, we will be introducing a swimwear line oh. on our next runway. And we will also possibly be introducing a skateboard what? line on our runway. So we're Dope. super, super excited for that. Yeah, That's fucking awesome. <laughs> I mean, I don't skateboard. I'm not trying to break my ass. I used to. And I did break my ass. I think that might be when I quit. It's super cool, too, because in the Riverside area, they just opened up the skate park under the bridge. Did they? Yeah. So it's it's open now. And, you know, when you go up... I don't know where that way is. Right by the church, right there. That's where you get off like Park Street exit. Park Street exit. Yeah, you can see them like skateboarding on the little um, on the little skate um, skateboarding rink. It's it's not by the where they do the. uh... Mm -mm. You know what I'm talking about the thing on Saturday. Um, The the Riverside Arts Market. That Mm -mm. no. Okay, it's in a different place. Mm -hmm. Because I thought that when I when they were building the skate park, I thought that you thought it was right there. Yeah, it's right there. It's right there by Hawkers, but it's going the opposite way. Like right where you get on that interstate. Oh, he's so handsy. Oh, I'm handsy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, uh, so I don't was... know where any of that stuff is. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but if you know where it is, then you know by all means, and you like to skateboard. Yes. So we're super we're super up. excited to be introducing um, those couple you know new vendors and ideas to the runway. We want to keep it fresh. We want to keep it new. We want to keep it exclusive. And yeah. I like it. I like it. Thank you. So they're all indoor, right? All indoor venues. Yes. Okay. Well, the Lobby Jacks is both. So it's a garage conversion. So they have the garage doors, so it can be indoor and outdoor, which I be- think would be really cool. Uh-huh. Um, but so for the photographers that are listening and it might be c- coming, mm-hmm. how's the lighting situation? Yes. <laughs> yes. Yeah. We'll have half studio lighting, half natural lighting. Uh huh. Um, but sunset at the lobby is like dope. Golden similar, hour. Similar. Yes, yeah, so I would say similar, similar to, to Golden co- Hour collab. Mm-hmm. Okay. Because it just brings in so much beautiful just yeah. light. It's just like, oof. Like, the pictures will look amazing. So. Chef's kiss. Chef's kiss, yeah. I like it. I'm excited. And uh, that one, like I said, I'll be staying the whole night. Yes. Remember I told you <laughs> about the bodyguard situation? You yeah, put a bodyguard right there. <laughs> <He's gonna laughs> fucking chain me to the wall or something. Uh, <clears throat> all right. So let's uh, let's get right into the camp. Ooh. Um you know, Josie was trying to drag us kicking and screaming know, in there. Right? But you, she's you know, so excited. I, I just wanted to kind of catch up with you guys a little bit, you know, yeah. and see how everything is going. I mean, you know, that's that's kind of like my thing. This is you guys know, uh, I you know, we talked about it a little bit before the show. Like I just I don't like to prepare anything and it's obvious, you know. Um but I just like to have a conversation with you guys, you oh know, and, and I look at you, all are my friends and I want I haven't seen, I mean, I see you at, at collab or wherever, but it's pretty much it. You yeah. know, I don't really hang out. I don't ha- like have like hangout friends because mm. I'm always so busy doing shit, you know, we need to have you over for dinner. <laughs> no, never say no to food <laughs> ever. <laughs> so, uh, but 
I'm glad to hear that everything's going well for the two of you, and I'm really excited for the upcoming camp. Yeah. How <clears throat> how did the okay? You kind of alluded to how it came about, but like, walk me through that process again. So, like, I don't know. It kind of just happened. I don't know. That's a. Kind he of, just said we were talking about the camp and when the next show or we were talking about Jack's fashion experience and when the next show was going to be. And he literally sent me a text and it was like the little eye emojis. And he was like, Jack's fashion experience model camp. And I was like, I think we should make that happen. And I mean, within 24 hours, I was like, here's like a few logo designs. And I was like, I think we should call it the camp, like Jack's fashion experience, the camp. And then from there, it just I mean, it really just snowballed. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I always had an idea to create some type of bridge over how you can be into the Jack's fashion experience. So I think the camp kind of created itself out of that idea of, okay, you want to be on a runway? Like, okay, well, we're going to introduce something for you to have all the tools and resources necessary for you to be confident on the runway. Hence, the first time, <laughs> not a lot of people were confident, even though they right. killed it. Yeah, they crushed. They crushed it. You would have never known that mm -hmm. they weren't confident. But I think that's where it came from. It's like, you know, if I had an opportunity to walk on a runway in front of hundreds of people, like, I would love to have some type of backing or resource or some something I can look back to and be like, okay, I can take that from that and, you know, and use it on the runway. Right. So I think that's where the camp idea came from was just me really thinking about the models and thinking, hmm, like this could be a really cool way not only to network with other creatives and models, but to really share what I know in the modeling world, right. what I know about runway and my passion and how I market myself and how I pose and how I connect with photographers, right. you know? I think with any, uh, <clears throat> I mean, that's just like any job, you know, it's like if you get a job and they never train you day one, mm -hmm. you're going to get frustrated. You're going to be scared. You're going to be nervous. There's going to be all types of emotions. And I think that that basically the camp is a, is a training session for, Absolutely. um, whatever it may be. I mean, and, and yeah, I mean, they can, like we talked about last time, these are, these experiences, I think they're probably you can carry them throughout the rest of your life, put them on your resume, do whatever you need to do. And I mean, if you keep doing it, you know, who the hell knows, maybe you'll be accredited one day and you'll have the first like fashion camp, you know, and it's the goal. you know what I'm saying? And, and like me make history here. Yeah. Yeah. And there's this actually, there is a very elite modeling camp in New York. And I applied oh, two shit. or three Never summers mind. ago and I got, <laughs> well, I applied two or three summers ago and I got accepted. Um, and my favorite thing about them is that when you get accepted, it's a lifetime thing. It is really expensive to go, but it's elite and it's been a door opener for a lot of models. Well, the first time I met Cam, I was like, you need to apply. Mm. Of course, I got accepted. Um, and then when we really started putting the work in on this camp, he was like, if we can't go to if if we can't go to New York, let's just make our own camp. Right. Like, let's just start it here. And then that gave me a lot of um, that gave me a lot of motivation when he said that. Good. To like create something. No, or that's like the growing community that's here. That's fantastic. Yeah. And I've always had that attitude where it's like, you know, social media is you can use it to learn, which is what I use it for. So mm -hmm. I watch a lot of, you know, just high profile people. And I'm like, if they can do it, I can do it. Yeah. Well, I mean, and I've talked about this before, too, is like um, borrowing people's outline, you know, like people like the successful people, if you just take their content out of it but look at the outline of how they you know handle themselves or the way they set everything up on their page or on their channel i mean and you use that on your on your channel and then put your content in and i feel like that will help and i i mean like i follow a bunch of people and that you know that are doing really well and social media and getting paid and all that shit and mm -hmm. it's like that was one, one of the guys i follow his name is jared poland uh, he talks about that all the time. You know, he's like, he had a hairdresser. He's a photographer. Okay. The, it, he has a YouTube channel and he's huge. I mean, he makes, he's just bought his fourth like giant building. I mean, you know, good for you, Jared. Uh, you know, I am anyways. Uh, he's always, do you know who I am? <clears throat> it's a joke, but really, but, uh, but he had a, a hairdresser, you know, they were, they had like a, what do you call it? A, a little 
whatever, a studio or whatever where they cut hair and do all that stuff. I'm not a fashion person. I don't know these things. I'd, yeah. I, don't, I go okay. to the barber, okay? okay yeah, yeah. I, I go to fucking barber. great clips, guys. Um, <laughs> but uh, he, and he, sh- he showed him his model, and he was like, use my model. Use it. Mm-hmm. And the dude just blew up, like, overnight. Not that. So, I mean, yeah, I don't think that these companies, uh, you know, your Mark Jacobs of the world and all these people that you, you know, that you idolize and that you, re- you know, that you look up to. I don't feel like if you, as long as you're not stealing their actual content, you know, but taking their ideas and Making the format, mm-hmm. do it. You yeah, know, yeah, I mean, absolutely. I think that's a great idea. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, you have to learn from social media if social media is something that you're interested in doing. Mm-hmm. And unfortunately... It is kind of the place to advertise anything anymore. It is. Yeah, and I think we're new age, new world like creatives because it used to be like models, photographers, mar- now you have to be like, you have to do it all. Yeah. So I think we're a part of like this really growing trend and I think it'll obviously like keep going of being like, when I think so too for myself, like I'm a model too, but I'm also a creative director and I'm also a stylist and I also take pit. So it's like, you got to do all of those things. And I think that's what makes you better as a creative and as a model, especially like in the growing world is that you're able to have like knowledge and all of those things that's rather it. than right. just sticking to like sticking to what you know. Right. Um, and I think Cameron and I do really well going out of our own comfort zones. Mm-hmm. And I think doing that hasn't inspired us to like, have this model camp and be like listen step out of your comfort zone because like it, we're gonna go so many places if you do Absolutely. yeah uh what is it the thing that somebody says uh if you if you're comfortable you're not growing yeah absolutely 100 you know? so i mean and i believe that uh so that's why i'm not growing <laughs> i like to be comfortable damn it um no but i i i, I love what you guys are doing now who all is uh involved in the process here of the camp? So I used a lot of people from the show. So obviously Joe is a veteran of the first show. So I involved her, um, Jen, um, she's also involved, Steven, Maciel, and then Elliot um, also is involved. So um, still using the same community of people that were involved in the first show, because obviously they show a lot of promise. If it ain't and, broke, don't fix it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, exactly. They show a lot of talent, authenticity. They have creative, ideas of their own and you know i don't have all the answers so it's good to use them as a vision board and a springboard Mm -hmm. you know for me to get different ideas of and where i want to go where i want the jack's fashion experience to go um so yeah they are going to be working as instructors this time around which is exciting and i'm excited to learn from them and um yeah so Um, okay so this is going to be a multi-day Event, right? Or is all one just going to, it's one day. One day yeah, just yeah. full of workshops. So okay. we're going to be going over posing. For some reason, I don't know why I thought it was going to be like a, you know, this day and then this day is going to be this and this yeah. day Maybe is going to be this. Maybe in the future if we get big enough yeah. a multi-day. You're not the first. Someone else texted me too. They're like, wait, so do I have to bring like an air mattress? I'm like, no, baby. <laughs> it's not a literal camp, fella. No, <laughs> it's not a, it's no, just, no, no. It's, it's a, a fashion one camp. Day. Yeah. Right. So I got you. Yeah, it's a three hour camp and it's, it's filled with different workshops. So we'll be going over, you know, styling, networking runway posing just you know everything it takes to kind of just you know be the it person be that person in the room so and there will be a written test at the end <laughs> yes and if you fail it you're out are you you're nuts? out <laughs> period bitch you're done <laughs> no I, I mean and i also hopefully i i'm really hopeful that this does well and that a lot of people that ha- that you've never met before that you've never seen come out mm-hmm. of the woodworks for this because it is a great opportunity and also it gives you you get to put eyes on people that you may not have ever met and they may do very well. Mm-hmm. And then you can use for your next fashion absolutely. show yeah, and you've already was, trained them. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Absolutely. That was actually kind of the goal too. Cause when we got halfway through Cameron was like, we should do, you know, to encourage people to want to come like almost as like a casting for the next runway show, like to come do this, see the promise and potential. Cause like um, when we have our models arrive, we're going to do very standard things, which is to take the Polaroid of you um, and then measure bust, waist, and hips mm-hmm. um, so that we'll, you know, he, um, the team can go back and look and say, okay, these people really showed promise and, you know, might want to reach out to them to walk in the next show. So that was really yeah. nice as like a promotion. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's a good idea. I mean, all the, all, everything about it is good. 
I mean, there's, yeah. there's so many, it's like, it's a, it's an, it's a snowball effect. I mean, again, I know that when you did rehearsals for the last one, it was like more like almost like a training session. It was, you know, and, and now if you get these people that have already gone through this day mm -hmm. of camp, when they get to rehearsals, it's literally just going to be a walking rehearsal, Absolutely. Yep. you know, so that'll be, and it'll also look better for your vendors, right? When Absolutely. you get, get vendors, they're going to be like, okay, these guys are professional. Absolutely. You're on to us, Jim. I know. I mean, I'm not a, <laughs> I mean, I'm kind of a smart guy. <laughs> I know, I know things. Yeah, absolutely. Yep. So that was, yeah, that was the plan. Like, you know, we wanted the Dex Fashion Camp again, you know, as I said from the beginning, you know, we wanted the Dex Fashion Experience to be the experience we wanted it to branch off to different opportunities and experiences and you know creative ideas and it's showing its promise because that's exactly what it's doing in the Jex Fashion Camp is just um, you know evidence that that's happening so we're just so super excited. You're being so serious right now. I have to go to the bathroom. Oh, okay, so go, 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 go. <laughs> that's number two, guys. Dude, I'm so hard. <laughs> wow, so it's all right. Um, I just lost my train of thought. It's okay. So, let's see. What? Have you had anyone sign up yet? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah? Mm -hmm. So, we're, we're doing very well in sales. Okay, good. Um, and we have, I think all of the people that signed up, um, I've never worked with them before. So oh, that's good. That's amazing. That's promising. It's very promising. It means, you know, a lot of people are still invested and involved. And the thing too, like the show was back in February and it's still showing promise after promise every time we post and it's showing just yeah. really good engagement and people are, you know, still on board and just waiting for that next show. It it shows a lot of promise. And, well, uh, you guys are stirring up some excitement. I, I mean, every everything I see come out of there is just like people are just, you know, the, the comments, the, the you know, everything is good um, about that. Have you had any more um, interaction with Mr. Jacobs? <laughs> um, no, but I did have, um, West Haven agency. They're an agency out of, I think I mentioned it the last time. Um, West Haven is a agency where they partner with, you know, different creatives and mm -hmm. instructors and people to help enhance their show. They did reach back out. Yeah. Um, and they still want to partner with the next show. So that's going to be a really amazing thing for the models. The models will have the opportunity to get paid this time. Which nice. Is gonna I know be they're going to love that. A very great avenue for them, um, especially for any um, first timers. You know, they're going to be really just, you know, enthused. Like, hey, this is my first time on a runway and I'm getting paid for it. Like, it's going to almost prayerfully strike that passion of fire in them to keep involving themselves in things such as that. So I'm super excited for that. Um, but yeah, no, Mark Jacobs. Um, I think maybe Steven, because Steven has a stronger connection with him. Um, mm -hmm. Steven, again, a veteran of the first show and a very good friend. Steven. Um, Do I know Steven? Yeah. Can we talked about I modeled with. Tano777. Yes. Okay. I, yeah. So I think he has something kind of going on where Mark Jacobs may be wanting to start a house of Mark Jacobs here in Jacksonville, Florida. Um, what? Which is really nice. So yeah, that's a little tea for that. But um, it, uh, when it involves the Jack's Fashion Experience show, no, I haven't heard anything else. But that's exciting in itself. Yeah. Yeah. Well, shit. That's... uh. That's exciting, right? Yeah, yeah. That's that, that'd be really big because that'd be big for Jacksonville. That'd be really big for Jacksonville. Yeah, because he is a fashion icon, and a lot of people look up to him. And yeah, I've known, I've followed him for years. <laughs> I, I didn't you see my face. I was like, I didn't even know who he was. I know. He didn't. We had to look him up, but it's okay. Yeah. I think Jacksonville. So, like, Jacksonville's been growing in a lot of different aspects, and I truly, truly believe, like, Jack's fashion experience, like this is the forefront of what the fashion community can be like in Jacksonville. Like we can, and we've talked about this before, we can be just as big as New York. Mm -hmm. It's going to take time and like that dedication. But I just feel like we're just starting something. Cause like for, and we talked about it on the way here for the first show to snowball into something as big as it was for us to now have the opportunity to do a model camp and then talking about a second show and other events. It's just like, the more that these keep going and the more that we keep going and we keep with it and we stay committed, yeah, it's going to grow into something that's so much bigger than us. I hope. And that's what I, that's what I'm like working for is I'm doing something for that's bigger than me. And then for the girls that were like me, you may be like, you know, like 10 years from now. Yeah. No, it's, 
it's going to be huge. And what you like, not not just the Mark Jacobs thing, but like you know, coming to the whatever house of Mark Jacobs that we said. Mm-hmm. I mean, J- Jax is coming up. You know, I, and I I, so. I know I talk shit because I've lived here my whole life, and I'm just I just want to go. It's not. It really doesn't have anything to do with Jacksonville. It just has everything to do with me just wanting to go and travel mm-hmm. and get the hell out of here. But, uh, you know, from what I've seen, I think people are starting to recognize that we're, you know, we, and you and I have talked about this, too. It's like mm-hmm. it's not just, uh, you know, alligators, iguanas, gang violence. You know, it's not all of that. There's a lot of cool shit here. There's a lot of great art, Absolutely. music, you know, fashion. There's so many things I didn't even know about until I met all of you guys. Yeah. You know, I say all of you guys because, you know, y'all are the collab crew. <laughs> and I'm just... Yeah. I'm just saying, y'all are yeah. the OGs, you know what I mean? Uh, and I was just thinking about it the other day, you know, and I know this is going to probably sound corny, but I mean, it's just like, I, I probably wouldn't be doing this, this format of this, and I wouldn't have put as much effort into this if I hadn't met all of you guys. Uh-huh. Yeah. I mean, honestly, I just, I was like, meh. Just resigned to doing it myself. I'm so glad yeah. I just like bombarded you the first time I saw you at collab. Yeah, you did freak me out a little bit. <laughs> Dude, I, I mean, I walked right up. I was like, "Hi, my name's Josie." Yeah, want to come shoot with us? I was like, "I'm gonna wait a little bit." <laughs> <laughs> it was so funny too because at first I thought he was super standoffish, and yeah. I remember I, I think it was. So I don't know if I came with Jennifer that night or if I was with somebody. I was like, yo, this guy is super standoffish. I asked if he wanted to shoot, and he said maybe later. It's so crazy. I think that was that was a year ago already. Was it really? I think, I think it was March 3rd, I think, because that's when I posted the photo of me and you. I think it was March 3rd, 2023. March or April. No, no, no. I don't think we're at a year yet. I think it was in April. Yeah, because I had... L- I had, by the time that happened, I had already lost my job. Yeah, I think it was in April. Yeah. But I remember I was... I was working at Pandora, and Sophie had invited yes. me. Has and it really been a year? It's almost just been about, a year. Mm-hmm. Just about. Time flies when you're stressed out all the time. <laughs> <laughs> Usually they say time flies when you're having fun, but yeah. stress um, does it too. I think like if you're smiling while you're stressed, it's like you're having fun. Mm. You just got to like, <laughs> you know what I mean? Fake it till you make okay. it. That is a fake it till you make it type of thing. Yeah. Yeah. Who was it that said they don't like that? Was it you? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, I remember that from your episode. Yeah. 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 Mm-hmm. I, these all these things are starting to run together. They're starting now. to run together. <laughs> I mean, yeah. Yeah. No, it's okay. No, but that's. Uh, I mean, you kind of sometimes you have to. I mean, not everybody's uh, full of. You know, joy, joy all the time. That's true. You know, but in front of the. The bright people the you mass. have to be. Yeah. yeah. Unfortunately. But I think you're right. Because it was funny. Because like, when you said that in your episode, I thought about that. Because I was like, well, I fake it till I make it. And I was like, <laughs> oh, that really hasn't been serving me really well up until this point. So, like, maybe I should not. But I think uh, I think when I stopped faking mm-hmm. it a little bit, because I was worried I would, like, lose, like, friends. Because that had happened before. I felt like it had to be something else. Yeah. And then I got around, like, Cameron and Steven and Jennifer and Mazigal and all of them. And I was like... I'm gonna be myself. Yeah, and then I was, and I was like, they're gonna leave, and then they didn't. And I was like, yeah. oh, okay. Mm-hmm. Well, when you get around, that's, <clears throat> and I've always said this too, but like when you get around the right people, mm-hmm. uh, you know, or when you're when you are yourself, the the wrong people will leave you, and then the people that like who you you Absolutely. for who you are will fucking come around you. And Absolutely. I mean, I learned that like the hard hard way. Mm-hmm. You know, it took me quite a bit. Yeah, <laughs> to same. learn that. Yeah, and too. I'm happy because like I, 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 this is me, mm-hmm. yeah. you know, and you guys keep coming around. So I'm like, <laughs> I really appreciate it. No, that's important. <laughs> you said that because I mean, again, to the last episode I was on, you know, it did show a lot. You know, it a lot of people that, you know, that I had high hopes for, they didn't do so well. Yeah. So I was like, oof. So it kind of just shows like, it just showed me a lot. I'm like, okay. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, actions See. speak pretty fucking loud mm-hmm. they sure do yeah and yeah. still so much love for them but of course you know, like i said unfortunately it was their last experience with me yeah we can be <laughs> friends but like well, you're I paying for your like, own bill i think we really and we it's, we talked about a lot of things on the way over here stay close um, to the mic there sorry we talked about a lot of things <laughs> on the way over here we got a floater <laughs> she's floating away um that was so funny um but like there was a lot of 
work ethic and there was a lot of people that maybe didn't have the exact type of work ethic um and i think that's another positive thing with the camp is we'll you know have an opportunity to weed out the well and and the the bad thing is i mean they're going to be paying for it mm-hmm. yeah. so, so if they don't put the you get out what you put in yeah mm-hmm. and the campus it's more detailed it only reaches a certain market of people right mm-hmm. it only reaches the people that want to be in the show or want to be a more of a model it's not reaching as the jack's fashion experience show did it's not like okay i'm just going to sit on the sidelines and right. watch some cute people walk down the runway the yeah. camp is detailed and specified for someone that either wants to be in the show or wants to know more about being a model so yeah. right well and the camp is going to challenge like it's going to be fun and we're going to meet new people but like we've designed the itinerary to be very specific and i love for some too. reason i don't know if y'all have ever seen uh days was it days and confused i think it was days no is it days and confused <laughs> Anyways, where like the 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 the, the older cheerleaders were like razzing the new freshman cheerleaders, and I just saw her doing that. You know, <laughs> get on the floor and kiss it, <laughs> bitches. <laughs> I love that movie. The first time I got high, I watched that movie. It was such an experience. You'll have to watch it if you haven't. If you haven't already, it's pretty um, good. But yeah, no, the camp is gonna challenge. Like, and that's like it's specific in that way because like the posing class that Maziel is teaching yeah she's talking about the difference between editorial and commercial okay you need to know the difference and you need to know how to be prepared Shit, for maybe e- i better go <laughs> yeah so for that type of thing like there is so much more to modeling than just being a pretty face that like shows up on time and yeah, that, that's all i got but you have such potential <laughs> But it's yeah. not all you have, Jim. No, Jim, you've got a lot, babe. You know what? We'll give, we'll give you we'll give you like ten percent off your ticket price. Oh, income. bullshit! <laughs> Whatever. But yeah, so no, we're gonna do those things to like challenge them and get them out of their comfort yeah. zones. And I'm doing a posing class that I'm excited for because it's like the culmination of like all of my years of experience. Slowly filtering in what the, each class will be because I was going to ask that next. Mm-hmm. I think we you kind of started reading the bullet points out of your brain. But I like this better. So just keep kind of going. Just keep going. <laughs> okay. Um. So yeah. So Maziel, I'm gonna go have a sandwich. <laughs> so yeah. So Mazia will do the difference between like editorial and commercial. Um. How to utilize your modeling props. So like, are you putting the lipstick on because it's a part of the whole look, or are you putting the lipstick on because that's what you're trying to sell? There's right. a major difference. Um. And then my posing class, I'm super excited for because it, it is. I started as a model coach and working behind the scenes and then I decided that I wanted to be a model because I wanted to get into that headspace to figure out how to coach models better um so I'm excited to be teaching like full body like how to create shapes how to take up space how to um emote an emotion that you have to dig into what to do with your hands what to do with your hands i don't know what to do with my hands i love when people do that (laughs) or i like the people who like they don't know how to like model face but they don't know how to like smize yet so like uh, there's so many different muscles that go into your face Say smize smile with your eyes oh Mm -hmm. ah did you just you make that no tyra banks america's next top model (laughs) it's like strike a pose with your eyes so it's it's like a smize yeah he's careful that just did something i know (laughs) Thank you. I'm wow. like really good. Um, no, trust. so that'll be, that's what I'm excited to do is like, you know, kind of get people out of their thing because you've got to like, you're either going to go off the direction of your director, you're going to go off the direction of your stylist, you're going to go off the direction of what maybe you want to do for yourself. So yeah. you've got to be able to check into those emotions and figure out what which one hey, is oh. best to convey. So is this like a runway only modeling cl- course or is it like just modeling in general? It's and th- modeling in every aspect. So you'll have like each modeling and then marketing, posing, and then Agencies, styling. Agencies, mm-hmm. styling, yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. So there's going to be like a, um, what do you call that? A more of a... Um, Overview? Like a um, like a talk and talk session. Uh-huh. We're gonna be like a ten minute intervals of like you know how to market yourself, how to you know yeah. how to uh, do business with your photographer. Not a lot of people know how to work with photographers. I will right. say in Jacksonville, and it kind of hurts my feelings too. Same. But they don't know how to you know accredit their photographer or yeah. You know sometimes they oversell themselves. One thing that really warms my heart was um, I'm gonna shout Barry out again. Mm. The first time we did the photo shoot, um, we uh, did I tag him or do I? I, f- I forgot. I either, of course, I tagged my photographers, but I either tagged him or I did a collaborative post. And he's like, hey, like, you know, thank you for that. You know, were you doing that? You know, I gained five of your followers. And right. I was like, oh, I was like, I, I love that. And yeah. a lot of times. I think you know, I followed him off of you. I, I have to check. 
yeah don't hold me for that. and i think that's just really important especially as a model and creative you just want everyone to be at the table you want yeah. everyone to get their proper credit well you that's want... something uh I, my friend um connor over who are you podcast mm -hmm. which you guys should probably hit him up for that He's, he does a really good podcast oh, too yes uh, Jen, Jen was, was on, on there. there. Yeah. Say it again. <laughs> Jinx. Uh, the Who Are You podcast. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, he's really I cool. I think, yeah. Yeah. I think he either reached out to me or we were working on something. But yes, yes, yes. Yeah. But uh, the fuck. I totally lost the train of thought what I was thinking. Who are you? I know. But what were we talking about before? Oh. Uh, you know, this uh, fish wall I'm taking is supposed to help with my memory, and it's just not oh, working okay. out. Um, I think we were talking about um, accrediting. <coughs> um, Barry. That's what it was. Mm -hmm. You know, one of his podcasts he had recently with, I think it was with another podcaster, um, the RAO podcast uh, that he just had on there. And he was just talking about, he's like, you know, when I do podcasts like this and we make clips and then I do a collaboration with that person that came on my show, he's like, uh, two, it'll be on there and then two weeks later they'll... <laughs> you know, end the collaboration. Ooh. And it's like... I never do that. But they do that you because do that. their grid, you know, they don't like the way it looks on their grid. I don't give a shit. Like I yeah. said, you know, like there's... I think he posted like four clips. I've stopped doing fucking clips. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't know if y'all noticed that. Mm -hmm. uh, and there's a reason behind that, but we won't get into that um, unless you want to later on, whatever. It doesn't matter to me. But yeah, I just don't really need to. I don't feel like... if I want people, if they want to watch, they're going to come here on Wednesday. <laughs> Yeah, you know, or they go to the YouTube channel. Mm -hmm. I can't believe I've never heard of that. I didn't know people unadded on collaborations because my thing, I've had some people do that. My thing with collaborations is I'll reach out beforehand and say, "Hey, do you want me to do a collaborative post with this particular media? Yeah, or do you want me to tag you?" Because um, Caitlin Luna Aesthetics, shout out to her because she did my makeup at four thirty in the morning the other day. Um, I always try to credit her, but she is very specific. So she's the first time she was like, please don't add me as a collaborator. I like Just my tag me. Yeah, she's like, I like my grid to look a certain way. And I was like, right. okay, bet. And that's yeah. okay. That's well, okay. Like Jen got me on yeah. that too with the with the Beauty and the Beard. She's like, listen, you. I had like eight different fucking uh, 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 thumbnail pictures on all the different posts that we had up there. And she's like, you need to get that shit together because it's looking <laughs> weird on my page. And I was like, I got you, I got you. And I, just, I finally got it right. Yeah. But I mean, you know, but at least, you know, she was just like, just fix it, bitch. You know, but we're, and that's something we're doing together. She definitely said that. Yeah. You know? But it's, yeah, it's, I don't know. It just, it breaks my heart that a lot of people, they don't think that's a part of it. But well, you know, why do I have to do it? You know, I took the photo. Well, you know, I was, you know, I'm in the photo. Like, why do I have to credit my photographer? And it's right. Like, that's just, it, for oh. me, it just speaks of your moral compass for you it not looks more professional. to a credit. Yeah. Like, that's that's almost a way of marketing you know why? yourself. Like you didn't because Taylor <laughs> Swift can fucking do it, you can do it. Oh, yeah. I thought you were about to say something negative, and I was like, whoa. No, yeah. she she got like major kudos. People were screenshotting and mm -hmm. you know screen recording where she like tagged mm -hmm. her fucking you know her photographer. Yeah, and she doesn't have to. She's like a gozillionaire. Like yeah, you know, yeah I think that some models forget that it's a team effort. Yeah, even like, uh, like I get it, like if you pay. For like a, a, a shoot or something like that uh you know like my customers that i do you know not they're not models you know like with the families and things like that if, if they don't tag me i'm fine you know they paid me i'm fine i got you know i get they tagged me in my bank account you know i'm good uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. would it be cool if they tagged me so that some of their friends might see the photos they might see some of my other photos they might like my work of course but you know and then and then the, it goes a two-way street you know what i'm saying like um i feel like models probably will have a more of an audience than a photographer will some photographers you know not all of them some of them are like social media nuts and they well social they media puts a ham. pressure like it's models are thriving obviously but yeah. it puts the pressure on the photographers well now you have to be a social media manager now yeah. you've got to create content of your content and that's like a lot and that's asking a lot of a creative because yeah, like you, and i'm breaking the stigma because fuck that noise yeah, <laughs> I don't, I'm not doing it. I don't care if I ever grow. No, well, and that's the, you, and you've got to do what's best for you, and you've got to do what you want to do. And I think, oh, it makes me so mad because we're such creative people yeah. 
that social media shouldn't make us be like, well, I, sh- I, sh- I shouldn't post this until this day, till this time. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, I catch myself doing that. I'm like, why don't you post it? Because you like it. And right. you did it for this reason to share it. And mm. that's how I used to do, like, all my clips. It was like, oh, I thought that was a funny moment. And I would clip it and, and throw it up. But, you know, now it's just like, I, I've got, because you get to that cycle where you, I got to do it. I got to fucking yeah. do it. And then it's just like, but why? For an algorithm? Like, why? Yeah. For So I could get followers for what? You know, you got to have like hundreds of millions of followers to even make any money on Instagram mm-hmm. if you're going to monetize. You know, and I mean, really like sponsorships and shit like that through Instagram. I mean, if you do it through them, then they get paid. Uh, you know, they take a chunk. Mm-hmm. Uh, now, if you do it outside of Instagram, you know, they don't like that shit. Yeah. You know, but. And then I try the, to treat Instagram as like a portfolio in a way. I think it's that's what it should be. Mine. mine is more of less like a portfolio. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think that's the way. Or it like is. announcement. Like if I'm making like a major announcement, like I did the Jack's Fashion Experience right. or something of that sort. I use it more or less for that, but it's more or less my portfolio. Well, mm-hmm. social media in general, like Facebook, it should be a portfolio. Yeah, Facebook um, used to be let me keep up with my family and friends. Mm-hmm. That was it. Just what are y'all up to? Now it's like all it is is fucking bitching, complaining, crying, mm-hmm. talking about how fucked up my life is this and that you know uh and it's like dead ass coming from people much older than us doing all the crying and the complaining on facebook i literally eat popcorn and laugh i don't know maybe i have the different followers than you but all the people that i'm seeing are y'all's <laughs> oh well yeah no we'll see the people well i come from like a small town so i have like a the bunch older of people, people like bitch that. about politics and mm-hmm. trump and this and that and biden this and it's just like yeah. Okay, we get it. Fortunately, in this day and age, it's, yeah, a lot of what people. What do you see? Younger people? What do you see well, from people? Well, I, y- see, I see different things from different people. People y'all's age are like, you know, oh, my life is fucking, you know, and I can't say that I've never been there. When I got divorced, I was like, I, I was posting those like inspirational fucking memes every day, you know, mm-hmm. and uh, like a college teenage chick, you know, um, <laughs> but I just... I, I, I finally was like, why am I doing this? Why am I posting these things? Why am I letting people into my life that mm-hmm. I don't? Because when they say some shit, I don't want to answer. I'm like, oh, what's wrong? You know, I'm like, ah, fuck <laughs> yeah. it. Nothing's wrong. I'm fine. I just thought it was interesting. <laughs> no, you didn't. You posted that shit for a reason. Yeah. yeah. But, uh, you know, I mean, people are looking for sympathy. And I know I was. And when I recognize I'm doing something to ne- that's negative, I fucking stop. Yeah, a lot yeah. of people use it as an emotional platform to get some type of whatever wisdom validation well that and and i think uh instagram instagram is definitely about approval and uh serotonin because everybody Mm. gets that fucking or dopamine they get that fucking dopamine oh every time i get a like oh fucking i get my dopamine from pinterest now i had to take myself Mm. off instagram now i get dopamine from pinterest i have a pinterest i think i posted three things i can't figure it out because like (laughs) fuck it you know i'm now i'm just going to claim age because I, um, I claim age on TikTok. I don't know how to do TikTok. TikTok's I mean. have TikTok, and I think I have an account, and my last video was like two years ago, but like, I don't know. How to do it doesn't matter. They're going to get banned anyways. Oh, yeah. I've They're never. See. And everyone kept asking me, why didn't you make a TikTok for the Jax Fashion Experience? I was like, I've never been on TikTok before. I well, don't want to learn the interface. My problem <laughs> is when, and I do this, I'm guilty. You know, um, I talked to, uh, uh, I had another uh, one of my past guests, uh, Gypsy Soldier. You know, <laughs> that's her screen name. Uh, but she, you know, we were talking, but she calls me now and we just talk occasionally. She drives all the time. She's a traveling reporter, but How's we're that? talking about like um, um, how there's all these like TikTok, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, you know, and what do you do? Which like, how, so my thing is, I don't want to see the same fucking shit on every single mm-hmm. fucking platform. You know what I mean? Like, Facebook and Instagram, they're married. So obviously yeah. you're going to see the yeah. same shit. They are married. Yeah. I mean, there's just a yeah. family. It's a you great know? Way to is it married or is it like a family? Well, they're both owned um, by Meta. Yeah. They're yeah. Meta now. So it was an arranged marriage. Yeah. Or they're like kissing cousins. Some weird Ooh, shit. No. Uh, well, you know. <laughs> Let's go wow. with arranged marriage. We'll Second go with, cousins. Uh, that. You know? Second cousins that you never see. But it's I would okay. Say, yeah, I would say Instagram because Instagram just has longevity. Mm. Yeah. It was. It's the for, original. I mean, it's well, been around for quite a while. So, yeah. you know, these these ones that's popping up now, you know, TikTok and everything, like, you have to be careful, you know, when you... Vine was popular. Look at Vine. Yeah, Vine is off. gone. Yeah. So I would say just look at the longevity of it and just... 
of course, yeah, it's definitely established. It's got established roots, but mm-hmm. I'm just talking about like you know, like if you did make a TikTok, do something different than what you did to, on Instagram. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, 100%. like the trending. I hate scrolling, and it's the you just it's the same the same audio, the same trend, the same um, like what's the word I'm trying like when it challenges you, not like a trial. Challenge, I guess. Yeah, it's the same yeah. challenges. You, everybody's trying to do the same thing. Oh, okay. I know. Oh, you know what I mean? What you, yeah. yeah, it's a trend. You had it right. They're all yeah. TikTok trends. It's like yeah. the dances and the bullshit. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I, I, when I find somebody that's doing something different, they're not just like, my favorite thing are the lip syncing. You know, it's like someone else made a TikTok, but you take the audio from that and, and now you lip sync it. That's fine. So, or, or the reactions. Yes. Where I'm you're a- just, there's a little face in the corner going, mm-hmm. I hate those. And it's like, can I just watch the original video? And that's always I always do that. I go right to the original video. I don't need to see your face shaking in the background going, mm, girl. You know, I don't need that. Oh, my God. so funny you said the reaction video because uh, Yvonne, the, that lucky fool, he almost well, he was so close but he <laughs> actually blew up on Instagram. He he was he was trending because he did a reaction of um Elastigirl from Incredible, she, there was this video and she was at um she, she was doing like um like character walk? Yeah, like a character walk, but it was crazy like she was like kicking her leg in the air. But I don't know, it just didn't seem kid appropriate and the expressions <laughs> he was making, like he had like 132k reaches he was trending on instagram and then instagram took it down mm. because of something or like this goes against our like i mean have you guidelines. seen a last girl though but she was it was literally from the movie no no no. It, no. yeah so it's like a parade in disney and it's mm-hmm. a girl and it has like a oh mess, it was like yeah. live she's, she's slim thick and during the parade she'll do these high kicks and yeah. it's like doing the splits so it doesn't look like it should so be it, yeah it didn't just it didn't look like something like kid appropriate and so like, why someone, are you doing that yeah so he did like a little reaction why video you smiling and his at me eyes were like their lips yeah <laughs> and so <laughs> yeah he was like trending for like hours and then instagram like you look so took excited his, to see me <laughs> and then, yeah and then instagram took his thing down for community <laughs> and i was just like what like why would you take that it was really funny though like yeah i, I reshared it like hundreds of other people reshared it and i'm mad they took that down then. they took it down i was yeah. like let me go watch it you took he it was down. trending yeah he was trending for like two hours he probably still has the video he probably saved it to his phone mm-hmm. i would hope yeah mm. but yeah that just sucks but it was really funny but yeah direction video and that's the guy that do. uh that does it lucky fool mm-hmm. okay mm-hmm. wait did, did he's he the one the that vi- did the collab one with the roll the... video mm-hmm. <laughs> if i get him on if i get him on here i might have to have it yeah well he did the collab one that josie just did uh um, yeah where they dropped the yeah and he yeah. like rolled <laughs> that that's one funny. was good that, that one was funny one. that it was funny and I then like someone that. else did it i was like hmm See, that's a trend that if you hop on it early enough, it's funny. But yeah. if it's if it if it's too played out and you still do it, then I'm like, Mleh. it's yeah. the it's the dances for me. I just can't. But I'm too old. No, I'm when not. I, when I no. see it, like, and it's like, I agree. My favorite thing is watching people, other people, like standing over and watching someone put their phone up on something and start doing a TikTok dance, like in public, and they're just like, look at this idiot, you know, and they do look like fucking assholes. Um, you should follow influencers in the wild. It's literally a whole page dedicated to videos like that. Is that on Instagram or yeah. TikTok? Oh yeah, you don't Probably have a both. TikTok. Do you? you might have I to do. pull this up real oh, quick. I mean I do, but <laughs> don't use my look TikTok. up influencers in the wild. Oh, you're looking okay, yeah. Yeah, be careful, man. Don't look up my uh my search uh history. Don't don't broadcast I'll get their that. click. It's okay, we won't <laughs> go to the <laughs> search <laughs> history. I'll give you five dollars. No, it's it's fine. <laughs> do they just do TikTok dances? Oh, just yeah, just be careful broadcasting. I'm not this broadcasting one. this. Yeah. So, oh, okay, this is exactly what I was talking about. Yeah, there's this girl just oh, and she's doing the funky. Ch- okay, okay. And her little girlfriend is just walking around filming her, and everybody's watching her. Fifty percent of me is judging, and the other fifty percent of me is like, just live your life. You know, I'm proud of her for di- that's a that's looked like a hard dance to memorize. <laughs> what are those people called? Dancers? No. Influencers? She was the way that she was. I don't know. I just oh, I don't know. Yeah, like, dubstep, whatever. Like, oh, this is going to be dangerous right here. Yeah, I got to show like, this. There's people driving down the road. That's what I'm saying. It's like you guys would do any. This age would do anything just for a, a like. couple of likes or to trend. I don't or, get that because I get that like we were at the beginning because I remember like the first iPhone and getting like the first Instagram and the first 
all MySpace and all this and that. And it's just like, I don't. And as you can see, it, everyone it. driving, like, they're just like, they're minding been, their business. They're I, like, I'm not like, I'm not saying it would be cool to hurt somebody, but it would have been funny if somebody like smacked her in the head with something. Yeah. Like, no one, like, <laughs> no one stopped her car. No one's really impressed. They're just like, okay. Yeah, like, no one's watching Another that. idiot in the street. For all you know? we know, she might do that all the time. She might be touched. <laughs> Look, it, just that one too, causing a traffic jam on the Brooklyn Bridge. Like, yeah, that's not okay. No. That's so dumb. That like that makes me like to, to grab photos. So hard. Like how how is that okay? That you is know? not okay. That makes so. me want to cry. That would give me such anxiety. <laughs> I thought I would be the friend in the car. Like, well, it's, guys, it's, let's go. It's disrespectful, and you know is what it is. Mm-hmm. Go Was, down here to this one. I just you know for the artist for the All artistic right. view. I'm not saying that I'm, I would I, do this. <laughs> 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 the commitment. Oh my god, that was yeah. funny. That was hilarious. Well, for real though, like that's <laughs> how look at it that. <laughs> She's releasing crabs back to the ocean. That's yeah. so. That's so rude. <laughs> sad. So sad to see plastic washable. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you and know see, a, lot a lot of these. Of, are yeah. the, you, the you go to the video guy. for the comments. Yeah, and a lot of times they <laughs> like it's more negative than positive. Well, <laughs> like, I mean, people like, get <laughs> wild in the comments. Like, wild. like fun, you know, yeah. like funny. Mm-hmm. That's probably what I like comments more than I like videos. Yeah. I was looking, I, I, you know, and I always talk about comments like, you know, don't, don't fucking, you know, don't, uh, what do you call it? Hang up on comments. But I got a comment the other day. (laughs) That's what she gets. I posted it. it. Well, yeah, I think I posted it. I'm an idiot. Yeah, really. Like, what did you (laughs) say was going to happen? You leaning back that far. (laughs) Did she fall out? Watch Mm -hmm. her. First of all, I think she's a little drunk because you could have just put yourself back over. Yeah, somebody told somebody commented on one of my videos that said this low quality shit should be banned. <laughs> well, you're a low quality individual. I laughed. I laughed at it, and then I I took it and I I just posted it with and I covered their name. I don't want people to. Oh, well, fuck you. Yeah. Sorry, <clears throat> but you know. No, it's it's fine. What I, what ha- what's funny is the yeah, video that them. the video that he commented on or she or she commented on was sitting at like thirty. Video, you know 30 views mm-hmm. as soon as they commented on it it went up to almost 300 views in like a 24 hour period okay. like, and so i'm happy with that yeah and that's what people a lot of people don't understand that engagement is fucking engagement is engagement yeah. well that's true. all press is good press right that's why a lot of people do it they they do it because they're like well i don't care if it's negative or positive like at least i'm getting exposure you know oh get it okay hey that's choreographed I like See, it. I just I want to judge them. I really do, but life is too short. So, like, why not? Bro? No, I don't judge them at all. But I mean, it takes an awful like I'm I'm the type of person that can't get up and karaoke. Okay, I'm not doing it. And that would have been okay, but it's just the fact that you know it's like that would be a community beach. There's probably kids there. Yeah, but I don't have a problem with that. And kids, like, they're gonna see it at, at some point in their at life. At least they had shorts on. Mm-mm. No. Like, okay, now this was a funny one, probably, because they're, like, literally outside this guy's apartment. <gasps> I would be mortified. Absolute. Grab the phone and run. Like, how can you not know? Look, insects, when you lift a rock, they all scatter. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. Uh, who else, who else thought they were birds? That's what I thought, too. What, that they were birds? Yeah. Like, look at their arm, yeah. Oh, my God. They just split, man. They scatter. Scatter! <laughs> abort, abort, abort. <laughs> That's the one grabbing the phone for me. Yeah. <laughs> Somebody got to go back and get it. Like cockroaches on the leg. <laughs> I can't. <laughs> See, I just live for the comments, dude. Yeah. Whoa. All right. You know that? Nah. Ah. Well, As a cop rolls by. Yep. I'll slide yep. back in. Yeah. See, that's a nighttime thing, not a daytime thing. Yeah, see, these are a little more. I don't like those comments, but anyways, Less classy. Yeah, Less classy. Th- it's the ones for me that are like where they stop traffic yep. or the they're Chanel. do the in- Chanel one. interrupting someone, you yeah. know, or or whatever. Someone can get hurt behind it, right? Like, if someone can get hurt or anything like that, or it's, I, it's all, it's mm-hmm. almost like um, basic. Well, like you know, the gym videos where the girl girls set up her camera. Oh yeah, and then, like a dude will go to pick up weights and go work out, and she's like, "Excuse me, can you like walk over there?" Yeah, like I don't. And you're like, dude, I'm in the gym and I'm working out, bro. Yeah, like no, I'm not gonna. It's because you got to have your little 
I get that a lot know. of people want to film themselves in the gym so you know that you're doing correct form and blah, blah, blah. That's or different. maybe you're an influencer. But you need to like take a grain of salt that the world does not revolve around you and right. other people are in the gym in their own little worlds. And if they walk in front of your camera, they literally are not doing it intentionally. So yeah. then, yeah, no, I agree. Oh my God, look at her body. What's wrong with it? It's amazing. Is it? She looks about... 70 pounds soaking oh my wet. God. Is, she hold, is she holding up all her red flags? <laughs> I think, oh I think they just God. keep handing her balloons to see how many until she flies It away. doesn't look like it's going to take much more and she's going to float away. Yeah, because she's already on her tiptoes. Oh, look. Liked by Joe. <laughs> you liked it. <laughs> yeah, because her body's amazing. Mm. Objective. I can see how this can turn into like an hour's worth of things. Oh, we can, we can do this all growing. night. Yeah. We just talked about reaction videos, you guys. Yeah, and this whole us. fucking episode... I apologize to my viewers that this is becoming a reaction video podcast. No, it's all right. I, <laughs> I no, think this is our new avenue. It could be something. Well, you just got to be careful because all these things, you never know. Like mm -hmm. the creator of this video that that, yeah. that this channel posted, my, yeah. they, and then now it's on my channel, and you know, shit could come back. Although I don't monetize. Mm -hmm. You know, well, you could, YouTube could one. jack me. What? <gasps> See, that's a oh. no for me. Ma'am, that's a public sidewalk. Is, what the... is that what it said? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, now I know where my shoestrings went. <laughs> oh, I was like, what? Yeah, I was going to say, I wonder how the, well, the front's her probably ass. covered. But, I'll just yeah. close that out for now. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Thank we you. would honestly yeah. be here forever and yeah. not even well, realize that, And that's part of the you. problem with social media. Like, I it's will, hours and hours. I will yeah. literally get on TikTok and start scrolling the For You page, and I'm just like. Mm -hmm. I'm guilty, too. I'll do that. I mean, on my day off, on YouTube. you know, on my days off, I'll be like, I'll get up, have coffee, do my thing, and then I'll sit on the couch and do that shit. And then before I know it, it's like, mm. like literally it's fucking time for bed, you know, and I'm like. That is my morning routine, though, is like once I get up, I immediately will start like playing a show or something because I have to have that in the background. But if I, I have to play a TV show. To keep me motivated. I check my Gmail, and then I check Instagram, and then I put on YouTube. Yeah. Do you ever, like, literally deadass, the first thing that I do every fucking dead morning ass. is I go to Daily Mail on Snapchat. That's, like, my news source. That's probably really bad. Yeah, it's probably not It's not news. my news source, mm -hmm. but it's, like, the first thing. The first thing you do. Because it's yeah. a British tabloid, so it already came out. It's the first like thing to come. That's out. the first thing to come in out. The, okay. In like the press, all that's on my snap. Like only reason I even have Snapchat is because my daughter snaps me every morning. We have like a almost four hundred day streak going. Shut up. Yeah. That's like commitment. Yeah, she went on vacation on a cruise for like ten days, and this motherfucker had to keep paying to have it, you know, like reinstated because she <gasps> couldn't so snap sweet. back. And I would just do it, and then every day sna she was, she got back. There was like you know ten or maybe more snaps on there when she got back but i love that that was sweet I yeah that. <laughs> yeah but that's the only reason i even have it but on my little news feed thing or whatever you call it it's like all just jake paul mm -hmm. and mike tyson Ugh. yeah and then jake and paul, then like tyson. asses mm -hmm. a lot of asses oh they, all they of, like know my all algorithm of mine are like pimple popping oh that's like, gross wow oh yeah that's my obsession you know there was a comedian that did this experiment on youtube you know, trying to see how the algorithm worked. I don't know if it was YouTube or Instagram, but all he looked up for like a month straight was puppy videos just to see what would happen. And by the end of the month, all he was being suggested was fucking puppy videos. Yeah, that's annoying. It happens on Instagram, too. It's like when you look at something, they suggest they they curate your content towards right. that. I'm like, I don't want that to be everything I see. Like, I just looked that up for an idea. Yeah, I can yeah. never let anyone look at my Twitter. Oh, I deleted that. I could. Sorry. X. My bad, Pat. <laughs> get it right. He usually yells at me. It's X. Every Fuck. time, but every time X that I like read you. something, it'll say so and so um put on X and then it always says in parentheses formerly known as Twitter. It's like yeah. I feel like I feel like we're going to be doing that for a while. I oh. feel like that was the dumbest thing you could have possibly done was changing yeah, the I would, name. I would, yeah. He's trying to make it an everything app. Yeah, and I get it. That's exactly what he what he just said. Yeah. You know, it's like an everything app. It's just, it's X. It's just whatever, you know. It's, it's just, like, in, like. And it's the wild, wild when, west now. When you have a uh, an equation and you have X, you can kind of make it whatever you want. You sure can. Yeah, mm -hmm. but so, you, that's it the was premise Twitter and you tweeted. Yeah, what yeah, do you do now? They, that was. 
Yeah, but they lie. What do they call it now when you send up. somebody a, or you you upload a you upload a. I don't have X. I don't. Ha- I don't know. Have you read the? Do you, have you heard of the Twitter files? No. Oh, you should read them. The Twitter files. The Twitter files. Is this like a this rabbit is, hole YouTube yeah, this, video? No, this is like go and read like hundreds of pages of Twitter files, or you can go like follow people who have uh, deep dive in it, like Matt Taibbi. Uh, he's a reporter on X, and um, he deep dive into the Twitter files and ended up finding that the FBI was controlling what was being censored and not censored on Twitter. Uh-huh. Oh, yeah. Hunter they, Biden laptop, all that, yada, yada, yada. yada. So everywhere. They fucked that up, yeah. in my opinion. I'm yeah. Being able to every, run a legit platform. Every, I mean, all of them, Twitter, you know, yeah. Facebook, Instagram, mm-hmm. they're all controlled. You know, they all have uh, like governments, what have you. They all have, oh, you know, a uh, market share in, in the bu- in those businesses, which really yeah. sucks because people that are trying to do something positive can't always get through. Mm-hmm. You know, so many. This is such a serious yeah. note. <laughs> do you really got to pee again? <laughs> I have to pee again. Jesse, your little tiny ass bladder. <laughs> yeah, Jesse got a granny bladder today. That's all right. <laughs> I'm holding mine like That's a man. Okay. She broke the seal. <laughs> mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> God bless her. We're only going to talk shit about you while you're gone. <laughs> uh, no, but it, <coughs> excuse me, but to get back to you guys, I, I do, uh, I really appreciate and value what you guys are doing right now. We appreciate and value you. I think um, no matter what happens, I think that it's, God, it's just a great thing to do. Well, you're always going to be involved. Jim. I'm super stoked have, about yeah. it. Oh, I love that. You yeah. just drag me along with you. Absolutely. Yeah. I'll, I'll right. ride your coattails. I'm not too proud to beg. No, you're going to be working <laughs> alongside us, not the coattails. But yeah, no, me and Joe was just talking about how we just have a very solidified and very strategic team. You know, mm-hmm. you, Barry, Sophie, Elliot, um, we got world class media. And then we have, you know, just the models that really come together and just bring something different to the table yeah. like we're just we're blessed like we can't complain we have so much talent at the table it's like take advantage like be grateful yeah um so i'm just yeah i'm so grateful for you so well, grateful i'm grateful for, for you guys yeah i uh i need to get out and practice more so i can be up to your standards um you know i could take a pretty good photo but it's nothing st- you know to write home about what well, i think about the fascia camp is it's nothing to like we're shooting for comp cards comp cards are super easy you're just mm. getting a headshot side profile full body back turn so it's not any strenuous shooting yeah um, it's just more or less like digitals um, yeah yeah so not, i don't need a motor drive mm-mm. good no. i won't i won't come home with like eight thousand photos no mm-mm. of the same shit yeah we just want we wanted this event to really be like not like a networking event we want these photos to actually like you can submit to an agency and ah, they be yeah they be eligible um for submitting for so sure that's what me and josie were kind of talking about was really making sure like whoever's <laughs> shooting they're intentional like you're not shooting hundreds of pictures for one model it's like right three four of headshot full body turned back and that's it okay. are we talking about digitals mm-hmm. oh yeah no no, no that was mic. sorry okay um she oh forgot God, sorry I it's forgot. been a long time <laughs> Yeah, can you like? Yeah, you can, there we go. Okay, yeah, you can move it to you. Yeah. There you go. Yeah, because um, um, and that was so funny because I had three challenges set up for myself, and that first challenge was working with Cam. Um, I knew I needed to do. Well, no, no, no. I knew, <laughs> what I, was want, that face? I wanted him to be the photographer. I knew that I needed to do. That's a digitals like weeks ago, and I still haven't done. <laughs> Oh, that's okay. <laughs> um, but no, doing my digitals. That was the first time that I modeled without full glam. Like I'm used to having like a full face of makeup, so. Mm. It was nerve wracking to like find the confidence to keep modeling without having it. that like mask on. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, thank you. You crushed it. Um, yeah. But it was really fun to. It was really fun to do that. And then my second challenge to do myself was oh the shoot with Steven, which was Mark to Jacobs. W- the Mark Jacob, which was to work with a male model and help direct a male model. And then my third challenge was with Barry and Saint Augustine. Um, but yeah. Yeah. You, so you yeah you have. Back to back to back footage, like you have. Yeah, <laughs> pictures all of my time. <laughs> yeah, you don't need those pictures that you took. Of you. No, you no. I, well, it's so funny because we <laughs> we we redid my hair, and Maziel was like, "Um, are you gonna redo your digitals?" I was like, "Why?" She's like, "Cause you cut all your hair off." And I was like, "Oh, yeah." <laughs> I mean, it'll grow back if you want it to, or whatever. Yeah, and that oh, that is my final challenge for myself is that um, I cut all my hair off and I went blonde for my shoot with Barry, which I knew that I wanted to do like a high fashion editorial look 
Um, and then I'm going to keep my hair short, but when the blonde grows out, I'm not going to blonde like bleach You're my gonna hair. You're going to leave anymore. the roots? Yeah, I'm going to do my natural color, but I'm I've been blonde, like I've been bleaching and toning my hair for almost We see like your 10 eyebrows. Years. We know what time it is. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but I always loved blonde natural. hair and like dark eyebrows. So I'm really excited to like really come into my model of who I like as a who I am as a model. Mm -hmm. um, but now my final challenge of like confidence for myself is to feel confidence in my natural hair color and not like the blonde that I've told myself for so many years like made me better. Okay. You felt like blondes had more fun? Yeah, and I just felt like someone I was sent Cameron the the notification too. <laughs> I just felt and I felt prettier as a blonde. I was like, I grew up that like, I don't know. It's just like blondes are better. I I actually bleached my hair one time when I was younger. When I was a younger guy, I was probably like eighteen. Yeah, yeah. I love that. No, it was what not color good. Did you go? Huh? Did you go blonde? Yeah. Well, it was like it was like that. Okay. Was, but they went. They put the blonde uh, dye in, and then they were supposed to put toner in. Mm. They didn't tone it. I told them not to. I liked it. It looked like fire. I was like, "Dude, leave that." It was it, so wow. dumb. It, it was that color. It was that like looks like fire. It was like white, and with a little bit like little hints of like orange and yellow. It oh was, yeah, that's how. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was crazy. And I was just like, "Just do that." And <laughs> then I was. So I started spiking it all up. You know, it was cool. Oh, I love that. You'll have but to I was in like a, I was in a band, you know, I was like mm -hmm. trying to be, we were going on the road. We were, I saved the road. We took Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. We did, get, or was it Friday? It was Thursday, Friday, Saturday. We did, uh, we like went from here to like Sarasota and some other places in Florida and just did a little shithole, you know, uh, mm -hmm. gigs. But it was still, for me, it was fun because we were we brought a band from DC down here and we they went on the road with us mm. you know it was just a little three week a little weekend three day tour but that was fun i was like i got to be cool and be interesting so i'm going to go dye my hair talking about bands um i ran into what's their band name they were on your podcast sparks in the oh, garden oh sparks in the garden sparks in the garden yeah so i actually Tim ran or in, cj cj i okay. ran into cj at um Southern Grounds in Avondale. And okay. Yeah, they're yeah. always down there. So I actually asked them, because I think it would be a great change, I actually asked them to perform at the next fashion show. Get the fuck out. <laughs> when worlds collide yeah. on the next. Another breaking yeah, news. Podcast. Yeah, and th that's another reason why I'm just so grateful for you, because you have so many great connections. Ah, and that that's night, fantastic. That I mean, I don't. This show does. <laughs> I'm just lucky enough to be able to, I think it's cool that, fine, that we're, it's working. Yeah. The shit's working. Just that night at the, the night of the collab we had, we, yeah. you shot them. And, and, and I made I them sing. Yeah, it was literally like, it was like my own little private concert. Yeah, and I was they'll like, keep singing if I if I had asked them, I, they'd have been, they'd yeah, have kept on They singing. sound so good. Their harmony is amazing. And so, yeah, I asked them, I was like, yeah, I would really love for you guys to perform at the next fashion That's show. That's so exciting. Yeah, I went to school with Tim, the guy with the glasses. Or does he wear his glasses anymore? I don't remember. Anyways, but uh, yeah, he was... Um, he actually inspired me like to play more drums and to get more into the set and everything. And, you know, so I mean, they're good guys. I love them to death. And I think that's fucking awesome. Mm -hmm. You know, like I really do. Like now, I, you know, I, with, with that happening and then I've got uh, the Who Are You podcast as a friend, Connor and Shannon. Mm -hmm. Those guys are awesome. And yes. like we're he and I like I'm kind of picking up your table scraps, Connor. You know, sometimes I'll see somebody on his podcast and then I'll move him over here. And then I think he's got, um, who the, I think he's got, he'll see somebody on my show and then he'll take them, you know? So it's just, I like that, mm -hmm. you know, that mm -hmm. everybody's collaborating. It's literally like the community. way it's a community. Yeah. We're building this mm -hmm. and that's the way it should work. And I think, and something that Jennifer always says, we can all eat, you know? And, um, yeah, I mean, I'm just looking forward to seeing what the fuck happens with everything. Yeah. You know, I'm very, I'm patient to a point. You know what I mean? Me too. So I'm going to need to step this shit up. <laughs> <laughs> now you guys just need a fire breather at the fashion show. Yes. <laughs> don't, I mean, they normally do, uh, don't yeah, you? So this time, um, we, de we definitely, th I think we want two. Okay. Um, so definitely we want Tokyo back. Tokyo did amazing, but Tokyo actually has her own crew. Like she's building her own crew. So I would yeah. love to have another. You know, fire breather. Um, I call them fire breathers. <laughs> well, fire I performers. I, I call Someone them, else from the fire nation. I, yeah, fire I call nation. them. I think I call them either fire breathers or like flame dancers. I call them fireflies. But so yeah, just to <laughs> just for us estimating the scale of the next show, I think it'd be nice to have two. 
other um, fire dancers um, there. And then, yeah, we definitely want um, Sparks in the Garden to perform oh, for so us. Cool. Yeah. That's going to be so amazing. I love their music. I love Are you going to have them bring the whole band or just them two? I haven't thought that far, but um, probably a whole band. You think just the whole band? I, I love their originality. Just like I love Lynn and Mariah. I think she did an amazing job. So, so I love good. working with so just good. local artists. I, al- I almost think for, for, for the fashion show, I feel like just the two of them singing. Playing will be good. Acoustic yeah, acoustic guitar. Mm-hmm. It's gonna take up less footprint. You know the space. Absolutely, I agree. But um, and I mean not and to their take voices any, project too, right. Like not to have... take anything away from the band that they've been playing with. Mm. Um, you know, because they started the band by themselves and then they kind of hired a band to play. Mm. But they're good. You know, and and they sound great. You know, I but I mean the two of them by themselves, like ah. Yeah. So when I... they came on the podcast, not to keep gushing, but I mean, you know, mm-hmm. um, they sang a couple songs for me, and I was like. Yeah, it's fangirling. Like, oh yeah, I yeah. love their fucking music. I, I, I was to fangirling it. at night at collab. I, was I like, listened to it all the time because I think I was going through. Oh yeah, I was going through my skin thing. Um, that time I was just breaking out in like hives yeah. every so. I was like, I didn't really feel good physically. Nerves. Yeah, I don't know if it was nerves, but because it was like my whole body was bumping up mm. with these itchy bumps, and it, it was happening for like three weeks. But anyway, their music just made me feel better, and I was like, oh my god, like I would love oh, to yeah. have you guys no, like, good. in the next show. So yeah, I'm super excited for that. <laughs> that's good. No, I, I love it, man. I really do. I think um, collaborations where that, I mean, I, the world could learn something from us, right? Absolutely. Mm-hmm. I mean, I'm not saying we got it all locked down and shit, but I mean, it, it's just like, Everybody should be collaborating. We should be, you know, <laughs> there's so much bullshit going on in the world. You Absolutely. know, uh, uh, I can't even think of one specific thing. But, I mean, if everybody, instead of, like, fighting with each other, let's talk about how we can make this a better place for everybody. Because, like, we all got to fucking live here. Mm-hmm. You know. Let's start by letting each other merge. Damn it. Come on. <laughs> There's a lane there. Just let me Murder. get over. Oh, <laughs> on tra- oh I was like yeah. watching the button. I was like, did you No, not just merge? let me merge into traffic, damn <laughs> oh, it. Oh, yeah, no. Let's no, start with that. That's a, yeah, well, let's just start with figuring out which lane is which, you know, but yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, not to be like a hippie like a, or anything like that. Hippie but it like, out, man. Let's go. Peace. I know like love can do a lot and save a lot, but creativity can All do a lot. All you need is love. Oh, my God. Take it away. <laughs> You never seen Moulin Rouge? No, I absolutely, absolutely, <laughs> no, I've seen Moulin that was actually, Rouge. That was really so good. here's a fun fact. <laughs> I love Moulin that. Fuck, no, I fucking love that. Movie. Oh. <laughs> do you think? I don't. I mean, I do in the shower and the bathroom. I was gonna say that shit. was really good. That was really. I, I, I wanted more. <laughs> Keep going. Uh, no, but I really like you and McGregor's <laughs> version of those songs, and like I would sing along. And when I, I was married at the time when it came out, so my she knew I loved it, you know, and it was probably, you know, not very, you know, masculine of me, but who cares? Uh, she bought me the movie and the soundtrack. Oh, that's so So I would sweet. be driving to work with that CD in my fucking car and just singing that shit. I was made for loving you, baby. Yeah, Jim can sing. I feel like that's another thing. It's almost like the model and photographer, like the skill set. I feel like a musician, especially like a guitarist or drummer, yeah. well, like you have to have, like not have to, but most of them, most drummers, can't sing. most drummers couldn't carry a tune in a bucket because <laughs> our our ears are so fucked up. Oh yeah, we keep, we're them. tone deaf, we're just shredding. Just like, but it's been so long since I've even sat down behind a drum set. You mm-hmm. know, no, I was gonna say my ears have gotten better, but not really. What is your go to? Is it guitar? Drums. Drums, okay. Yeah. I I I played for a long, long, long time. Mm-hmm. And then I got married and had kids and mm. pushed, you know, let that shit go. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe one day I'll crank it back up. But mm-hmm. You got time. Yeah. yeah. The, the, the boys want me to come and, you know, maybe maybe play with them a little bit. You know, uh, the Sparks in the Garden guys. They, they Ooh, s- you can do your debut at the show. <gasps> I'm, I'm going to be too busy taking pictures and video no, and no, shit. No, 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 no. That's no. a great idea. It's really not. <laughs> it, it would take. It and would then ta- we'll have you walk. Oh, that's definitely not happening. <laughs> I would love to see Jim just off. shred the run. Shred his stuff. You would have like such a unique walk that would be like this. I do. I have a unique walk. You're seasoned, so I feel like I will. And that's actually a really good thing. I was actually thinking about implementing children soon to the runway. Cause okay, I think it just shows. The demographics. Start them out early. Yeah, really. Yeah, but yeah. yeah, we're gonna start with your age, which is like here, and then. Oh, but Jim, you're a seasoned man, though. Like, if you walked on a runway, like, I like how everyone's he said gonna seasoned. like. 
You know, Bill Nye just did like a fashion campaign. Did he? Oh, yeah, yeah he did. Well, he's also off his fucking gourd. So, I mean, you know. <laughs> but, he's, but that's the thing is Bill Nye's like a fashionista now. He's walked in like several one, runway shows. Yeah, I don't have fashion, though. That's Bill, the problem. Bill, Bill, Bill. You do. So, you do. yeah. Bill Nye. Just think the Fonz. That's what I always try to, you know, that's why I try to emulate. You the Fonz? Yeah, just like super, the uber cool, you know. Maybe should like update that i told jim for his photo shoot i want him to do like you know the old money aesthetic yeah wouldn't he kill that wait what do you mean oh you mean oh yeah <gasps> the old hair money with, but we'd have to take the glasses off i can take of them off i just can't see up close without Let's take your but. glasses off <sighs> Shouts okay out and then take and the place. hat off can you take the hat off too i mean it's okay that right there so handsome oh, dude, you, just right. Did, you literally <laughs> were like smolder you, look i He's ready, like, right? <laughs> daddy. I Whoa. mean, dad. Whoa. Mm, no, you gotta yeah. go. Well, how, you gotta go with daddy. <laughs> it's pops to I'm you. not saying it, but. <laughs> oh, he father. Would, he would kill it. Like. No, the whole. Oh, yeah. Oh, it, I just imagine you on like a sailboat yeah, and like the, the wind. Do I gotta take the beard off? No. no. Keep the beard. So I told him either I want. I probably could shoot it, but I probably wouldn't be confident enough. But Elliot or Barry. To do his photo shoot. Nah, you can do it. We're gonna turn you into yeah. a model. Yeah, you're next. Okay. Well, Elliot, he he hired me for a model shoot a while back. <gasps> oh, with the the sunglass company, mm -hmm. Ocean Waves. Mm -hmm. Can we see your smiles? My what? Okay, so you're just gonna take your face. And you're just gonna relax your face. <laughs> mm hmm. And you want to just like you want it to be like you're having like a like a glitter in your eye. You're just like. But yeah, think about <laughs> <laughs> not so much down here. <laughs> I'm gonna cut that out and get a sticker made. But he has so much definition, like contrast in his eyes. Like those photos would be sick. So you'll like lift your eyebrows a little bit, like one or both. Both. <laughs> Is that, gotta, I feel like that's the look like I make a, when I'm taking a shit. It'd be like a Lana Del Rey vibe. Like very just that. Oh my god! Old that money. last. Oh, you know the cover of her last album. Yeah. Turn the I did. Mm -hmm. I actually did a photo shoot for a friend of mine that wanted to practice. I don't know. I don't think that any of those photos are on my Instagram. I don't. They might be. I definitely think an old money look. <laughs> are we getting the band, the creative band, back together? Microphone. Are we, coming, are we getting the creative band back together? <laughs> I would love to do his let's, shoot. Let's let's do it. Yeah, like Saint. I'm thinking. I'm Saint, really nervous right Saint now. Augustine. Like my Augustine. armpits immediately started sweating. <laughs> St. Augustine. We can get like a pop-up tent that he can change into. These weak arms are heavy. <laughs> I don't need a pop-up tent. <laughs> I'm thinking just like maybe like two looks, like a black and white look. Very you nice. you know who you really should get to model? Oh, we'll make our way around the table. I'm just saying, he's got the body for it. <laughs> yeah. I don't. You you both have the bodies to be models. You can be in a swimwear Anybody line. can be a model. If you take a picture of me in sh with shadows and f really far away, my body looks pretty good. <laughs> I feel like I have too much ink to be a model. <laughs> too much? No. Mm -mm. Do you literally see me? Yeah, true. but he's like his chest, yeah, his like, stomach, his everything. No, that makes you perfect to be a model. It makes you uh, stand out. Yeah, that's what I. That's yeah, what. I, that's not true. Yeah. On certain agencies, they want you to be bare bone, but I mean, look at Jennifer. Jennifer's got a lot of tattoos, and she nails it. And that's one of like mm -hmm. when I first met Jennifer, that was like her biggest thing that she wanted to convey was that yeah. you can be a high fashion model and be covered in tattoos, and that's not going to take Absolutely away from can. your aesthetic. One hundred percent. Yeah, I'm, I'm modeling time and place. Sunglasses right now. Shout, yeah. out, yeah. shout out time and place. Yeah, yeah. they're look in the chat. They're in the chat right now. Buck. Hi, Brett. <laughs> so excited. Yeah, shout out to Brett because you do. You look yeah, Brett. Where over the there. fuck were you at the black and white show? <laughs> oh, I know. <laughs> there was a table set up for you. And Come on, I was B. Waiting for you. Brett is gonna be there at the next Dax Fashion Experience. Yeah, you're coming with me, and you know, kicking or screaming, brother. <laughs> <laughs> so super excited to have him um, part of the next show. So shout out to you, Brett. Love you. No, I think it's great. Uh, and I, 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 I didn't realize how many fucking like um, designers, like fashion designing clothes and people that live here in Jacksonville. Maybe yeah. they didn't they didn't all come. They weren't all born here, raised mm -hmm. here, but they've come here. And this is where they want like this. You know, these uh, stay young. You know, they they he loves it here, you know, mm -hmm. and he's like, I'm always going to be in Jacksonville. There's okay. a lot of creatives. Well, and I don't think we realized there was a lot of creatives until we started building that community because like. The more networking events Collab had, the more people came out. And the more right. people that came to Collab, the more people wanted to like 
be a part of that creative thing. And then for the fashion show to like snowball into what it was, more people are coming out of like, I don't want to say coming out of the woodworks, but more people are feeling confident to come yeah. forward more because there's like this community now and now there's a platform and that, we, yeah. Again, and we've done so much at Collab. We've done fashion shows. We've done the networking events. We've done Silent Disco. We've done just so many events people are just like oh, okay like i'm that's a place go. now it's yes. like a hub and that mentality that we can all eat it doesn't you don't have to feel like other photographers are your competitors or your other models are your competitors because we're all so different we all fit perfectly where we're all needed to be sorry that's okay. so sorry i think that's important yeah no yeah a 100 percent. i mean yeah i like i said i the, going back to the uh there's just there's just so much shit in Jacksonville I didn't even know about, mm -hmm. and you guys are hipping me too a lot of the so many stuff. entrepreneurship. Like yes. you just think mm -hmm. of Alexis, mm -hmm. that Alexis has her own shop, Disco yeah. Dolly. I'm gonna try and get her. Kylie own. has her own shop, Keeks Vintage. Huh? Brett, you gotta get Alexis. Brett, time and place like these he, are just he needs all to come back on hard too. working people, and this is their passion. And stay young, Tyshawn with. Day Young, Miguel with Savage is just like they each have a story to tell. They're all entrepreneurs. They know what it is to. And I'm wondering how many more there are, you know, like that I, I haven't know. even that we haven't even there's scratched a lot. the surface of. Yeah, there's a lot. Yeah, if you know anybody that's like a clothing designer, entrepreneur, whatever, man, just mm -hmm. send them my way. Shoot them up, you know. Hit them. don't shoot them up. That's weird. Uh, <laughs> you know, tell them to hit me up in the DMs or or send me their 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 link so I can check out their page. But yeah. I mean, I. You know, not that I'm like the end all be all of getting people out there, but I I, I definitely try to do my best to help. Mm -hmm. You know, and if if I can help somebody to grow their their business or whatever, I will do it. And that that inflames my passion when when I'm around entrepreneurs, yeah. whether they're models or uh, clothing designers or sunglasses or swimwear. It's just being around those people at being at such a young age. Like I don't know how old Brett's, maybe like 24, 25. Yeah, I'm just like. Look how successful you are. Like you have your own brand. Like this is your brand. Like I just it amazes me. It like yeah. strikes my passion one hundred percent. And I wanna be surrounded by those type of people. Well, just seeing the like everybody does things differently. Mm -hmm. You know, um I you know, I I know we talked about like taking people's like outline or whatever, but I mean just seeing people take their own stance and build their own basically their own brand on it's social crazy. media but then you've got some people that are like well you got to do it this way mm -hmm. to make no you know i enjoy watching people be original mm -hmm. i really do you know and when i see stuff that i'm like you know like he brett did some shit the other day i don't know who did it or if he did it or whatever but i i comment i, I try to message him whenever i see something cool or anybody you know, if I see something cool, I mean, it'll just be like a heart or like, you know, a hug or, you know, hey, that's fucking fire, you know, whatever, mm -hmm. you know, because it's fucking cool. You know, mm -hmm. I acknowledge yeah. the shit. It needs to be acknowledged, um, you know, but every time I see somebody being original, it, it gets me excited, you me know. Too. Yeah. Yeah. Originality is just, it's, it's I think rare. It, like, it's fleeting. It, it reaffirms mm -hmm. my faith in myself to be creative, too. Mm -hmm. Like if they, if they can do it, I can do it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I missed that part. Um, you know, I, when I, before I was doing a lot of this, like I would literally just, I get off work and I would, I would not let myself sit down on the couch because once I do, I'm over. It's over. Mm. It's fucking over. I'm done. You know, but I would grab my shit and go out and just drive around until I found somewhere that I wanted to just park and then I would just walk around and shoot shit. Whether mm -hmm. it was just birds or fucking, you know, when shadows. When he says shoot shit, he means a camera. Yeah, I know. We keep talking about, like, coming up with a better... <laughs> we gotta find a better... Photographing. Camera. I captured that, like... Yeah. Mm. Eh. Yeah, well... I you, shot it. it like, you gotta it was, be careful, because, you know, if you capture the wrong shit, you know, people might like take that the wrong it, way. It like, yeah. go out and shoot shit. It puts the lotion on his skin. <laughs> you know, I mean, you can't be capturing things. You know what I'm saying? Captured <laughs> in my Pokeball. Whoa. <laughs> Get in my Pokeball. Oh, I thought he said cookie ball, and I was like, that's weird. Yeah, you got a cookie ball? Bro. <laughs> Uh, Pokeball, gosh, we got Gotta right off track. Mm -hmm. Sorry, it's wow. no, it's totally this okay. This is what happens when yes, all you. of you have ADHD. What it gets a little chaotic. You were going home shooting shit. Yeah, no, I mean that was just my thing, you know, and I enjoyed, <laughs> I enjoyed doing that, and it was like being alone and just being walking around and and just taking photos of things. <laughs> uh, I felt like I was, and I come home and edit and everything, and it was just it it, it would kind of like rejuvenate my passion for it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I haven't really done a whole lot of things lately that really 
get spark my, joy. Get, yeah, really. Yeah. I mean, like I have ideas for things that I want to do. And then it's like, well, I got to reach out to somebody. I've got to find the right person. I've got to reach out to someone. I don't really don't want to. And I keep coming back. I got to reach out to someone. Like, I don't want to do that for a shoot. Like if I, I'll reach out to people all day long to come on the podcast. That's easy. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But then like we reach out to to a model or somebody that you feel like has a good look or aesthetic, you know, that would work for this thing. You know, it's just like, I don't do I want to waste their time? What if I can't get the shot I want? Mm-hmm. You know, those types of things. I have all kinds of fucking shit really? I battle with. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's why I really haven't been shooting a lot. You know, I've been doing, you know, the only shooting I have actually been doing is paid gigs. Mm-hmm. You good know, for you. Not, as you should. They're not like, you know, not coming like every day, but it's, you know, far yeah. and few between. But when that's pretty much it, you know, the dogs that I did the other day, I just shot my, uh, photographed, <laughs> um, <laughs> You, you said it, and I was like, oh, my God, people are going to think you shot the dog. <laughs> no, they were adorable. Those were adorable dogs. I don't know if you saw my real. Um, one. The yellow dog? There was like four, three or four different dogs. I don't know. Are you talking about my yellow dog? Yeah, your yellow dog. Yeah, Reese's. Um, is that a boy or a girl? Boy. Okay, well, he escorted me to the bathroom, so shout out to him. Yes, Aww. he will do that. He escorted, what like, that? literally came into the bathroom. You know that himself. You know that meme, or the Rick and Morty meme, where he's like, Fuck it, I'm in. You know, like <laughs> yeah. when you get up, you know that's him. That was him. Jim, let's set up a um, let's set up a high fashion shoot. Why does it gotta be high fashion? <laughs> I love because high, that's that's my I don't know. I was that's say, what we're going for. That's the new era we're in. But I don't want studio. Okay, mm-hmm. I want to be. I'm trying to get out of natural studio. light's fun. I got to yeah. get back into it because I. I got well. Like, I'm high fashion. You like when you shoot me, I can yeah. pull a lot of things off. That's why I just automatically go to high. Fashion I feel like this. anywhere. For you, it's high fashion. Mm-hmm. Anyway, yeah. I thought you were talking about for me again. I'm like, if you're doing, I just like no. being grungy and grump and grump grumpy. But that's you. What you like that grungy and how you feel. Mm-hmm. That's a whole different aesthetic. So doing that puzzle piece with something similar or even opposite and like clothing and fashion. I, see, I know what you're trying to do. You know what I mean? It, it's not gonna work. Gonna <laughs> no, it will be though because we're really good at what we do. Yeah. No, I know, but I'm just saying like you're actually editorial. It will be mm-hmm. real. What? You're very editorial. It would be really fun to do and just hang out. You know, it'd be like, it'd be like, you know, we'll all take a gummy before. Oh, oh I, I can't do that. But okay, we'll all take a shot in a gummy before. You guys can. <laughs> I'll just drink. Okay, I'll do a shot in a gummy and a mushroom chocolate, and then we'll. Start. Yeah, I'll just get like a, <laughs> a quadruple you espresso, you know, or whatever, or espresso. I said espresso. There's no X in it. It's so funny because I'm catching myself. I'm catching you in my head, and then you're catching yourself. It's so funny. Yeah, I think I'm, I, I'm dude. It's my brain, ADD. But yeah, um, no, I, 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 I would love to just hang out with people and create stuff. You know, that's kind of like what, yeah. You know why I love going to the collab so much. Mm-hmm. You know, and I don't want to make this such a collab centric. They get a lot of free press from me. <laughs> um, but I love those guys, all of them. Yeah, you know, I love them. everybody. You, you guys. I mean, everybody that I've met there. Everybody, but it's just a great place to be. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, and it's a great place for me to be able to just hang out with people and like do stuff and do the thing I like to Absolutely. do. It's like fun. Mm-hmm. You know, and, and like where people used to like go and park their truck, you know, somewhere and just sit on the tailgate and drink beers until the sun goes down and have a bonfire or whatever. Like for us, I feel like going out and doing a shoot would just be like the coolest way to hang. Yeah. You know, yeah. For me. That's why I like the atmosphere at Collab so much. There was such a difference for me. I, di- I started to get into this phase where I didn't like going to the bars and I didn't like drinking and I didn't like the crowds and it's just... I was like, I felt bad that I was missing out on things, but I didn't want to be in that environment. Mm -hmm. And then the first time I went to collab and I was around such like-minded people, I had- And it's like a safe place. Yeah, I Mm -hmm. think I had maybe one drink and I was just high off the energy Mm -hmm. of the people, of like seeing old friends and then meeting new ones and creating art and being around other artists. It's just- There needs to be more of that. It's just, it's it's such an amazing place to be. Passion striking. Yeah, and I think that's why some of us call it home a lot. We just like, ah, we're home. Well, I remember having a conversation with them, with the guys, you know, John, Jit, and uh, and Ray on the podcast that I had there at the the collab. Mm -hmm. And I asked them if they were thinking about doing like a collab too, Mm -hmm. you know, and they were vaguing me. They were just trying to be vague, you know, (laughs) but shit, if they need somebody, you know, step up. (laughs) I, I mean, that's part of my problem too, is I work 50 hours a week doing a job I fucking hate. 
You know, I don't <laughs> hate it. It's, it's it, it pays the bills. It's not what I want to. We are allowed to have time. a job that you absolutely hate that pays the bills and get you through. Oh yeah, for sure. I'm not gonna fucking quit anytime soon. I got no. too many fucking bills. <laughs> Seen that house? You know, it looks amazing. You did great. <laughs> yeah, yeah. The guys HD home repairs hooked it up. Um, but no, I mean, it's just there's too much. I, yeah, I got too much shit going on. But mm-hmm. I mean, it's hard for me to like get my mind right into the artistic mode Mm -hmm. you know like i uh, like i want to write again you know i used to write but i don't do that anymore no because you you get home and you're like you're tired and you're like yeah "Yeah, fuck it i just like what's on netflix and then i fall asleep that i can fall asleep in front of you know literally it's like dinner fucking bed yeah start all over again i mean i get up at two o'clock in the morning so it's like Mm. are you do you work like normal monday through friday no, it's split oh. work week. What's what's that mean? Split. I'm off Thursdays and Sundays. Mm. Oh, they're not like together. No, that sucks. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I've been doing that for almost my entire working career. When I worked for the last company I worked for, it was Wednesdays and Sundays off. You know, you're Thursday and Sunday. Yeah, off. it makes my heart <laughs> race for you. It makes me like so sad for you. Yeah, when I get like a weekend off, I'm like. What is this? Yeah, what am I? Yeah, what am I this sucks. Now my whole now I got to work the whole fucking week for another day off. You know, I mm-hmm. would literally. That used to be me when I used to work at Pandora. I used to only have two days off. Some weeks, one day because I would have a crossover where I would work at Pandora, then I would have to go to Salon Disco. Mm-hmm. So I would work from like twelve to eight at Pandora, and then eight thirty to two in the morning mm. at Salon Disco, and have to do that all over again the next day. Mm-hmm. Like have Sunday off and then go back on a Monday. I know that life. Yeah, and then I mean that's like that's like commonplace these days, people having like two and three jobs. You, have to. you almost have to just to fucking survive. That just, yeah, that just makes me uh, that's just for me myself to live almost comfortably. Yeah. yeah. Not quite there yet. But yeah. I mean that's just borderline I can live comfortably. Right. You know, but it's crazy. Yeah. My my thing is if I can do something I love doing and be able to support the people that live under this roof. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. I'm happy. Mm-hmm. I'll be happy. I don't need more. I don't need extra money. I don't need fuck it. What do they call it? Um, uh, fuck you money. I don't mm. need that. You know, it would be nice, but I don't need it. As long as I can pay my fucking bills and they don't have to worry about anything and they're, you know, they're all good, I'm happy. That's how I feel about my cat. As long as she doesn't. <laughs> well, it, won't, do, it doesn't take much. I do everything for Rocky. I'm like, is she happy? Is she comfortable? Mm-hmm. Is she. You know. Knowing damn well that cat couldn't the give world two shits about Rocky. you. I love that cat, and yeah, that cat will eat you. As if you she died, should. if you died, that cat will eat you in two hours. As she we'll, should, I'm she'll dead start and eating gone. You from your eyeballs, then your lips, then your tongue, and then I will be with her always. That dog that walked you to the bathroom will wait two weeks. Did you just? That was me. That oh. was Patrick. <laughs> that was the way you looked cat. at me, I was like, what? That was, that was a kitty cat eating your I was like, is my overbite out? No, she thought you were making ASMR of <laughs> I was like, wait a minute. <laughs> yeah, no, no. The, my cat is my life. Dogs are more When loyal. she goes, I'm going. I don't care how old I am, I'm out. Rocky and I are going together. Well, you'll just, it, when she goes, you'll be, uh, the universe will just gift you a new cat. Have you heard of that? Oh, the cat distribution system? Right. Absolutely. No shit. I'll tell you, I, this is like for real. I uh, I worked at a grocery store way back before I was married, and uh, we were, and I was just dating the girl that I ended up marrying. We were just dating, and she lived in fucking Ocean Way, and I lived in Mandarin. And um, somebody had called me. I was the manager on duty at night, and somebody called me. They're like, hey, Jim, um... Uh, there is a fucking cat in here on aisle number one. Like, and I'm like, well, get it out. And they're like, well, it won't come out. It's underneath the aisle. And I'm like, okay. I go over there, and you just see these two little beady eyes. <laughs> and this cat was no bigger than this mug. Aww. It was a kitten. Oh, cute. And I got down there, and I just went, <laughs> you know, tell your cat. I said, <clears throat> this cat literally just ran up and went, <laughs> and just stopped right here. And I was like, oh, you're coming home with me. Aww. You know, and I called so I called scary. her and I was like, You need to come over here right now and, and, and look at this thing. This is ridiculous. So she came over and then I ended, and I lived in a room that I built in the backyard of my mom's house. It was my little love shack. Wow. Oh. Wow. But that's where I took that cat and then whenever we ended up getting married and buying a house, we took her with us. Uh and then when she got pregnant, she 
accidentally left the door open and the cat got out <gasps> accidentally because somebody told her that it was bad to have cats around a pregnant person. Mm. So, but um, you never saw this cat again. I'm gonna cry myself to sleep tonight. <laughs> no, I mean, but it was, you know, I mean, but that was the cat distribution center, yeah, you know, or what a center, uh, what system, Dis- yeah, distribution system, whatever you want to call it. Wow. No, it seriously it works because I wanted a pet, but I didn't like I was living in my first apartment, was, was shared with other people, yeah, and then randomly my sister texted me and she said, Hey, this cat outside of our gym had a bunch of kittens, all of the kittens have found home except this particular one, yeah, I um. <laughs> Except this one kitten, do you want it? And she sent me one picture, and I, I mean, yes. I blasted over there. And yes, now, please. now I've had her for like six years this year. I think, though, when you're like 20 or 21, I think you should get a pet. I don't think you should necessarily get a dog because it's a lot more maintenance, but I think you should get a cat. Cats are great for apartments, yeah. which is mostly what young people you're within. never alone. <laughs> There's always something there. It kind of teaches you responsibility to like mm. feed something. Like having her when I tr- like right before after I turned 21 is when I got her, and now I'm turning 27, and it's like, oh, she's made the 20s less hectic, yeah, less shitty. I want a pet, but I feel like I'm gone away from home too long. It but wouldn't be fair. No, you think that, and like I literally leave Rocky all the time <laughs> when I come up here. When I come up here from my parents' house, and yeah. like, I, and my parents feel the same way. They feel the same way with their cats. But it's like, cats are so independent. You'll come back from your trip, and they'll be like, "Oh, did you leave? I didn't even notice." Maybe I'll start with a cat. Probably not a dog because I don't want no. them to have like, separation anxiety. Yeah. And then you have to like take it on walks and stuff. And with cats, you know, you just put them mm. in the litter box. They know what to do. Dogs are amazing. I love dogs. No, I'm but they do. They're ready. like kids. Yeah, they they require a lot of. Mm. Yeah. You got to feed them twice a day. And take them to the doctor. Out, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. It's a lot. It's a lot. Feed Especially them. if they're a certain breed. Mm. Mm. Cats, they're everywhere, man. And if, you got, if your and cat if, dies, just go you, behind the dumpster at Walmart and get a new one. Yeah. If you want one, <laughs> let the world know. It'll manifest it for you. That's true. There's cats all around. Oh, my God. There's too many feral cats. You literally saw a black cat when I picked you up. Oh, yeah. That one's cute. Cats are responsible for 14 billion small mammal deaths per year or something like that. They're little murder animals. Crazy. Mm. We don't talk about it. We just support it. (laughs) It's an unspoken thing. Do you, boo? Uh, Yeah. So, cats, man. I like that we got on the topic of cats. Well, you know, we did the important stuff, right? Mm -hmm. Mm-hmm. But we're probably gonna have to wrap it up pretty soon. How how long how far along are we there, Patty? We're, uh, hour forty seven. Oh, we I got did, it. I did want to go through this. We got a yeah, couple minutes let's left. Go let's this. go through the old JFE Instagram if you, if page, you, shall if we? If you're listening on audio, we're going through the uh, Jack's Fashion uh, Actually, Experience page on Instagram how right it's now. Coming about. Yeah, it looks um, really good. I love how you can tell the difference between the um, the Jack's Fashion Experience and the Jack's Fashion Camp. I think ready? it's really, really good. Ready, Jim? Yeah, man, go for it. Hi, my name is Cameron Lott, and I am the founder of the Jack's Fashion Experience, now co-founder of the Jack's Fashion Camp. I am so super excited to announce that I'll be working Over alongside a season one veteran, our first amazing. show, our first runway show, Jennifer Janeo, who will be teaching runway. Yes, you heard it right, runway. We're so super excited. Tickets are still up for grabs on our IG at Jack's Fashion EXP. That event right link how many t- how many takes did it take you do you to want do me that? to tell you i mean somebody eight. tell me was it eight did you turn me down i would say, i oh, think yes, you I were did. about 10 to 12 okay maziel maziel killed it when we post maziel's maziel videos it was great maziel <laughs> was just having a day we probably did mm-hmm. Like She's so 30. sweet. At least twenty takes. Twenty to thirty. Yeah. yeah. But it was. It's great. It was fine. It was. It. It was. It was great. It was good. It was a good day. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I love how the page looks. I love how everyone's photography is just being broadcasted. And and like when we say it came together fast, it came together fast. We had the idea and the text on a Tuesday. Not even a week later, we were doing the first media day, mm-hmm. and within forty-eight hours, we already had. Like a logo and what we want it to be. I just sent like a bunch of options to Cam and he picked one he liked and then I took his critiques and edited and yeah. I love that little, mm-hmm. um, what do you call that? That little. Carousel? No, I'm thinking of a word. Like the flow? The layout? Mm-hmm. The, the experience. That's my uh, favorite yeah. picture of Jennifer. 
You know, I, I really wish that, like, on Instagram that you could just so take funny. the pictures on your grid and, like, move them where Rearrange you want. Rearrange them? Oh, That'd Instagram, so... bro. That would be an amazing feature. Oh, that was tie-dye. Oh, oh tie-dye, yeah. So um, they may be a vendor in the next one. We'll see if Over they're not here. busy. Mm -hmm. I forgot. I didn't take them out because, I mean, it's, you know, they were pretty... They were pretty heavily involved until the last minute, and then something came about. But all, you know, all good measure. Um, but that yeah, is like I the best it. picture. Yeah, Literally, my sure. mom has that picture of me framed. <laughs> so right here. Oh, that one. Yeah, Elliot did a really or, good job. Or there's these. like a, it's like that same outfit, but there's another one where I'm smiling. But yeah. Literally, Aww, like the that's best so picture. Sweet. We started. What was that? January eighth was that post? Yeah. Wow. It was my friend. <laughs> my friend. But that was the post. So like, what did you post that day or? I think so. I think we started marketing about a month out, yeah. And then we got our little Fashion Campy video, which is super cute. I love that video. I love that's such a good video. Mm -hmm. I love how that. Is came that a out. video? Mm -hmm. We had such a good time that night. That she took so much work. We were yeah, we were there for a long time. No, the <laughs> oh, video, the editing, the editing itself, just it's who hard. edited that? Did yeah. you edit it? It's so hard to. Put. How did you edit it? I used to cap cut. Yeah. But it it was so <laughs> hard cut. though because We don't need all the music. <laughs> You're right. It looked like it was catchy. If there was talking, we'll get the talking going on. But uh um you were saying the no, editing of the video. So for some reason I shot Sony I shot again with my Sony but I shot it with I, I think it like 120 frames per second mm -hmm. um, and for some reason when I was getting the footage off of my phone to my um, off of the camera it would it was it was slow motion yeah. so it would start regular then it would slow mo yeah 120 frames a second is slow mo and I was like why did I shoot but when I shot it I didn't know that so rookie mistake but I Basically, I had to go and speed it up. I had to go into CapCut and like speed the video up. Yeah. So it was hard. I had to do it for every single video. I did. I was like, "Fuck! Why did I do that?" But yeah. I think it came out really. I well. like slow mo. I mean, if you. Like I mean, mo. most of my shit that I post video wise is all fucking slow mo. That is true. Oh yeah, because the promo video you did for the camp was mm -hmm. kind of slow mo, but that was well, cute though. Which one? The one you did with um. Remember? I don't remember. I was like. Well, you 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 hit oh Tyshawn for the experience, first. yeah, yeah, yeah. for like, your uh, yeah that that, that yeah cute. everything was 120 frames. That was everything cute. that was such a great video. I love that. Um, Can we watch that middle video? Which one? This under one? go down that, that one. one. No, let's watch that one. That okay, let's one. see that. It's no talking, but uh, this was another one I shot in 120 like a yeah. dumbass, so I had to speed it up. Um, well, you did good. You found the right. Uh, it doesn't look like oversped, mm -hmm. which sometimes can happen. When you try to speed up slow mo, do you want to know a fun fact about that day? Sure. I <laughs> so I'd done my digitals that day, so I didn't have makeup on, and I'd gotten a facial that morning, and I didn't bring any makeup, which was fine. But I usually like to be in makeup, and then my yeah. my friend, I was like, "Hey, we bring eyelash glue," and it was not the normal eyelash glue, and my eyelashes kept coming off. I was this close to yeah. cry, having a breakdown, like the fucking lashes. <laughs> I was having like a whole ass moment, but you don't see it in the video. Or girls. I, I I don't envy anyone that has to put makeup and do all that shit. I'm it's sorry. It's fun though. Like I used to be able not to know how to do makeup, and then the more that I got into modeling, I was like, you need to learn how to do your own makeup. You need to be good at what you're doing that way. Because I worked for someone, so I was just doing shoots for that particular company. Right. So it was just you know that type of thing. But the more, but I treat it as like a self care session. Like when I do my makeup, I take my time with it. I put on my music or my show or whatever I'm yeah. doing. And I have it step by step and I have it down and I just, I love it. I feel like I'm putting on like a fucking multi-million dollar badass mask. Okay. But, you know, the under 30 I'm product. Batman. Yeah. You know, do whatever makes you happy, right? Absolutely. I thought it was more of a pain in the ass for... Well, I think for some people they are, but I don't treat it like that because then you're not going to be able to learn right. I had to like humble myself and be like, all right, if you want to learn how to do it, you need to have like... I'd be like, oh, fuck, I can't get it. And then I would get mad and then i get frustrated. But now I'm like, oh, oh, well, I guess we'll just try it. Oh, okay, I got it. So quick question about the uh, the camp. Uh, I just, it just popped into my brain. Sorry. Uh, like when you do these, you said that each session is going to be like you're doing 
blocks. You have all these different things. The workshops. Mm-hmm. So is everybody going to be rotating around or whatever? So and each each workshop is going to last how long? So we're doing, um, we're kind of changing the way how it's going to do because it was, Maziel was going to speak on what she speaks on and then we have an activity attached. I was speaking with my activity. What we're going to do is we're, she's going to speak, I'll speak and we're going to have an activity attached okay. based in posing. And then we're going to have a small break and we're going to go into the runway phase where Cameron and Jennifer will do the same thing. They'll have different points that they talk about and they'll have a runway activity. So I guess the question would be, was that, you know, is everyone going like, is it going to be a teach, show me how you mm-hmm. do it? And then, yeah. you know, the most and then correct after that. Yeah. The most natural way. Yeah. That's usually, I mean, when I was training people, that's how I did it. Like I would mm-hmm. show you and then you show me what I just showed you, mm-hmm. and then I'll take the time after that to correct. And I think it's cool, too, because, I don't know, I feel like when I'm teaching, I surprise myself because I learn while I teach, too. Of so course. Yeah. like, all across the board, is, is, again, it's an experience for everyone. Everyone is, you know, learning, but we're teaching at the same time, and I think it's really cool. Like, I just came across... You know the difference between a catwalk and a horse walk on the runway, and I'm like, oh, uh-huh. like I didn't know there was a certain thing as a horse walk. Um, and actually, Jennifer naturally has a horse walk. It's and he naturally has a catwalk. And I naturally have a catwalk. I'm more a glide down the runway, and Jennifer just stomps. She and boom. she like she she, she demands kills it. presence. She demands it, and it's like it's mesmerizing <laughs> when she walks. You're like, well, and those are the differences that like we're gonna cover. Mm-hmm. Like uh, we. We knew that, but we didn't know that. Like we knew it had their walks had names, but we didn't know. Right. Mm-hmm. Like they're the same, but they're different. So you guys actually did the you did some research, mm-hmm. put a little work in. Uh, ha, I mean, are you putting together like like a PDF file for the things that you want to talk about so it's organized? Or yeah, we have an itinerary. Okay. In our mm-hmm. group that um, I made a couple of weeks ago, bullet and then points we, and whatnot. Yeah. Bullet and we points. but we changed things around. But yeah. Bullet points, experiences. We're everything. doing a panel at the end. A panel. Van? Huh? What? No, we're going to do, sorry. <laughs> we're going to do a panel at the end where, where we're going to cover topics that we've all kind of agreed that we're like, ooh, we think we should really share that with up and coming models. You. So y'all just kind of sit up on stage like The View? Mm-hmm. Yes. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Should, you should definitely film that as a, like a, a, a one-off podcast or something. That'd be really cool. That would for be cool. Promo, yeah. And there's a really, and then I think for the models, the really cool takeaway is that we're gonna have photographers, so we're gonna have you have them working in front of the camera. Mm-hmm. So in a couple of weeks' time, they'll get X amount of um, professional photos. So you're, you know, you're paying, you know, you're paying what you're paying for your ticket. You not only get all of this knowledge and knowing the differences from people who um, are experienced in it, and you know, that's why we're coming together to yeah. share this. But you get professional photos back, um, and you can start your portfolio. And you can start your portfolio, which is what we're gonna, you know, post soon. Is like you can come fresh face. That's usually what you do for digitals. Yeah. But if you want to come in full glam, come in full glam. It's whatever makes you feel most confident. Yeah, I, th- I think for for the camp too. I don't know if I mean I don't know if you're talking about building a portfolio in this camp, but I definitely think that should be part of the uh, curriculum at one of them. Yeah. Um, because I, I like I, I feel like um, a lot of, especially the younger people, of course, they don't know. All, you know, they think they know yeah. everything, mm-hmm. eh. but uh, they don't. You know, they don't know everything, and it, it it would be helpful for them to have someone tell them, hey. You know, this. these are the types of, you know, depending on what type of work you're wanting to get into, Absolutely. these are the types of photos, you know, whatever it is. Um, and, and, you know, I think that something like, and honestly, I'm just going to be honest with you. I think a lot of photographers would benefit from this, too. And I think I might have already said that. I can't remember because mm-hmm. I'm old. But um, <laughs> you're not old. <laughs> my brain. Where's my glasses? Oh, they're on my face. Oh, shit. <laughs> All right. Uh, but yeah, I, I just I think that it would be very beneficial for a photographer or someone who wants to get into like this type of photography. Absolutely. Because like I'm, I'm gonna be honest with you, like I never really thought about shooting models or like I mean <clears throat> photographing models <laughs> or you know working with you know like in this realm. Like mm-hmm. I never 
even thought of it. You know, I wouldn't, it wasn't, I was just like, I'm going to be a landscape photographer <laughs> forever. And eventually yeah. I'm going to get to travel and shoot for National Geographic, which would still be cool. So Nat that Geo. Would be really cool. That would up. be like a cool thing to do like at a future camp or even like now, like have a, have a, um, a workshop where we kind of work with photographers about how to express what they want to say to the models, how they, because I, I even went with Barry, he was like, I've actually just started recently like working with models. He was like, but I need to work on how to tell them how to pose the way that I want them to pose. He was like, I can't figure out that wording yet. Mm -hmm. And I, that would be like a yeah. cool workshop to do to kind of bridge that gap. Because I feel like sometimes models get nervous yeah. to tell a photographer like I can do this or I can't do that or, mm -hmm. or I'm not comfortable with that. Almost like, almost like how they used to do the, ooh, almost like <laughs> how they used to do the, um, the America's Next Top Model. Yeah. Where they used to bring so many models to like a site where mm -hmm. they all did the same like photography and yeah. they just go over it like, hey, like, you know, the posture. Like that'd be really that could be something. That would be really fun. We Jacksonville's can do, next too. top model. We're already, yeah. we're already planning for camp number two. Hey, <laughs> and you kinda have to, right? Mm -hmm. you, you gotta keep going. <laughs> you have to keep otherwise you're gonna fall off the fucking you, you're gonna be ready. There'll be time for the, you know, camp number four and you'll be like what the fuck are we going to do? We you know, it can almost be like a competition. Like we can see Jacksonville's who, next top model. Well, no, it I can just be like, that, it can be under the Jack's <laughs> fashion experience, but we take models to a site and then we see who adapts. Like, the, we see who like took the best shots and maybe they can be in the next show. Wouldn't that be cool? That would be really and you can cool. You should judge their portfolio. Yeah, judge their portfolio. Judge, judge their walk. Judge, you know, have yeah. all these categories that you I can do. I would love to do a posing I mean, you challenge. might not be able to call it Jacksonville's Next Top Model. No. no we'll you call it Jack's get, Fashion Experience. Do you want to get time. sued, boy? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'll have to think of the name for it, but that could be a good kind yeah. of like segment or like sub segment <gasps> to the experience. Jack's fashion experience, the model. Oh shit! Is that what I'm feeling a, a pattern? How do you, how do you feel about here? that? No, yeah. Because you no, have no, back burner. It's okay. Yeah, put it on the back rough burner. Draft, rough draft. Put it on the whiteboard. We'll come back to it. We'll come back to it. Yeah, you guys need a little uh, a chalkboard or a whiteboard. The only or reason I said um, the camp is when I was making different fonts and editing. It just looks so much better when it said the camp instead of like model camp. I get video. you. No, I like it. I mean, I like it. Yeah. Are you like, are you, st are you, I'm still on it? okay, we'll come back. We'll come back. She's Anyways, so, and on. we're back. So, <laughs> Jim, hi. Tell us about your beard routine, your uh, care. It sucks. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, you know, so, so basically, no, it really fucking sucks. <laughs> it's funny because I, I went and got my hair cut today a little bit. Just mm. I had, a, I had a mullet going and I had to trim that shit off. And I had her trim my beard and they never do it right. Oh. So I had to come home and I fin fixed it. You know, I trimmed it again and then I was like, I took a shower and I got out and first thing you do, beard oil. Okay. And the beard oil is not for your beard. It's for your skin under the beard. So I'm just yeah. massaging it in, Okay. you know, and then I have to straighten it, straighten it. Are, are you mean like a straightener? Oh yeah. There's a beard straightener. It looks like a little brush and you Shut just run up. it through. That's super cool. And then uh, after that you put the balm on and you know if i'm now how often do you do this routine every fucking day oh, okay i get that it, yeah it takes me at least 30 minutes oh yeah no i get pain that. in the dick yeah i do skincare morning and night so yeah i don't do skincare for shit i think i got it okay let's hear it <laughs> and we're back let's, okay tell me i was thinking well we already got the c so gfe is the jack's fashion experience jfc okay. is the jack's fashion camp okay and i was thinking gfc could be the jack's fashion challenge oh <gasps> okay <laughs> wait, 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 like Jack's, wait, what'd you just say? Um, Jack's Fashion Challenge, GFC. Jack's Fashion Challenge. And then Jack's Fashion Camp, JFC is too, so. So are you, okay, so you're doing Jack's Fashion Camp, not Jack's Fashion Experience the Camp. We can do Jack's Fashion Experience the Camp, and then JFC can be Jack's Fashion Thanks. Challenge. Challenge, I like that. And it can be like, hey, calling all models, we're going to be meeting at this site. And You're gonna have to promote this for a while. For We're a while, gonna have yeah, such sure. a great talk on the way home. <laughs> yeah, you need you need to promote this for a, a good long while, Absolutely. and 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 I'm talking like, you know, multiple videos mm -hmm. explaining what you're doing. Uh, you know, just you name it. There's yeah. a lot of There's material lot of that needs I to need be put out there to look forward to creatively, like creative wise, to like keep my will to live going. Oh, you mm -hmm. shut your face. 
no, no, yeah. Don't you dare. Well, no, 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 no. Like, Talk I love like life. That. Um, but no, no, no. It's just like having things that I can look forward to rather because it's like my day to day life. The only things I look forward to, I'm like, oh, well, got to pay rent this day. Oh, got to pay a bill this yeah, day. Those are the adulthood. things. Yeah, those are the things I look forward to. So, like, having these things where it's like, oh, it nurtures my fucking soul. Um, yeah. It just like, there's a fire that I'm like, oh, life is wonderful. I just I I definitely think that when you do that, it definitely needs to be the buzz needs to be huge for sure. And um, that's like a two month PR thing mm, yeah, prior, if not um, more, at least maybe three, if not more. You have to hype it up. It's like the challenge. Well, what's the reward? Like, what's yeah, the, what do I get behind it? So you start out slow mm. and you just post your logo. JFC, yeah, you know, and then Jack's fashion challenge. Who hosts? Um, <gasps> Heidi Klum does um, Germany's. You're trying to get Heidi Klum? I'm just saying, <laughs> if I Jack's fashion email trend. her and start bombarding now, yeah, that's a long time. Well, you definitely have to have the money to pay yeah, Heidi gonna... Klum. You got to have Heidi Klum oh, money. I will be like, I will no. I'll I'll think of something. Will you do this pro bono? <laughs> She'd be like, listen, mm -hmm. I love you. You're doing great work, but no. <laughs> I'll I'll tag you. You can tag me. You know what? Screw it. It's fine. We're you we'll don't need up Heidi. Our, what no, the fuck we're you fine. You're absolutely for? right. It was like a momentary thing. It's gone. Woo. Have you seen all like what's happening on this side of the table? Yeah, right now? I got so many ideas running. I just thought of. <laughs> oh my write god, them tell down. us another one. Oh, write them down. Write this down. Hang on. JFM, the Jack's Fashion Magazine. What? So I've actually been thinking about for the the show because we got so many great images from the photographers i was actually <laughs> thinking about creating my own magazine I, i'm not sure how to go about the press and the print but i was thinking about creating the my own magazine with some of the models on uh, pictures in the magazine start a yeah. website um yeah so i was thinking about that too for the uh, jack's magazine and well, i just thought of jfv jack's fashion vlog what's cool about website is you can you know you can do the jfe like it can be jack's fashion experience.com mm -hmm. and then each you'll have just pages for everything else. everything that we all the yeah sub, that's yeah. like that's how i did my 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 old website this new one i got is trash but trash. uh my i missed my last website it was so good i had you know all i had my you know like i had all my photos and then, and then i had my subcategories mm -hmm. like weddings you know infants whatever i had all that and then after that i had my vlog mm -hmm. i had uh, a link uh, you know where i i i um embedded my podcast so you could listen right there on the website listen oh, to the podcast what were, what were you using uh squarespace.com oh, okay see i'm yeah. using my pixie set and i'm trying mm. to put everything use both. on one because i have the honey and tea social mm. that i want to pick up soon um and then i have the what else do I have on there? Oh, I have the KLP, the camera lot photography. Mm -hmm. I have I the Jack's Fashion Experience, one. and now I have the Jack's Fashion Camp on there. So I just need help kind of. Yeah. Well, that's why I liked Square. I've tried Wix. I tried so many other you know, mm -hmm. website builders. I liked Squarespace because they have like all these cool templates, you know, and they're like ready. And you can just scroll through and look at them and you go. That's how I want my website to look. I think I may try that. And then you and you just you find the one that looks the way you want it to look, and then you just literally click on that one, and you just start replacing the photos with your photos, and then the, the words that are there, you replace it with your words, mm -hmm. you know. And it's just it, it it just made things a lot more streamlined and looked a lot more professional, you know. If you look at my fucking website now, it looks like a you know website a teenager may have might have made. <laughs> oh no! But I'm using Google using, Sites. Okay, it's like six dollars a fucking month. Okay. <laughs> okay. You know what I'm saying? It's yeah. cheap as shit. Is my tongue blue? Uh, and your teeth. Are you serious? A little bit. It's okay. Yeah, your tongue's totally. It's mm -hmm. kind of gator color. It's, no, or I'm um, gator color. I it's jaguar though. color. Nobody fucking me. I love that Jack's fashion yeah. challenge. Yeah. Could be really no, cool. yeah, all of that. I mean, use that for all of your stuff, you know, mm -hmm. for sure. I mean. JFM Jack's fashion merch. Oh my gosh! Okay. Or you, on. or it could be Jim fucking Mullis. <laughs> oh yeah, <laughs> I love that. <laughs> that was actually really good. <laughs> Jack's fashion. <sighs> Write that down. Write that down. So, um, is there anything else that you would like to say or talk about the JFE, the camp, or anything that involves with JFE? Yes, yeah, so we actually been asked by um, Yelp Jacksonville. Oh yeah, um, Yelp is a elite program where you know they go to very um, 
they just go everywhere, whether you're a business, y- entrepreneur. Yelp is or, like or, widely known. Yelp is well It's known. reviews. Yeah. It's all reviews. reviews. Yeah. So they have their little elite squad program and they do these soirees. Sor- I think I'm saying it correct. Yeah. Soiree. Sor- yeah. Soiree. It's my overbite. Which is close to the old band name. Yeah. Party. <laughs> so, yeah. So we got invited um, by the founder, um, Rachel, Sweet Rachel, um, is the founder of the Yelp Elite Program. Um, they are having an event May 16th at the convention center downtown. Um, they are expecting about 500 attendees and they want us Jack's fashion experience as one of the main attractions. So they want us to put That's together dope. a fashion show. Um, and the theme of the soiree, sor- gosh, soiree. I liked it when you rolled your R though. <laughs> soiree. Beautiful. Is um, the Las Vegas theme. So okay. very dramatic, ball gown, masquerade almost, very dramatic. Um, and so we said yes. So we will be um, asking some models from our previous show to help out and walk that runway at the convention center. So we're yeah. super excited about that. Now, that'll be a good exposure for that for sure. Absolutely. Yeah. And to be the main attraction is really cool too because it's like attention on us. <laughs> right, right. So you better get your website up so Yelp can review and put it on your website. I know. I know. <laughs> I'm trying to. I'm trying to work all that out. It's a lot. But, yeah, so once the website gets done, we'll add that. But I'm just so, so super excited for that. I think that's going to be really, really good for the Jack's Fashion Experience. What publication? Have you reached out to any publications? Like, I mean, nobody really reads the newspaper anymore yeah. if they even print them anymore. But, mm-hmm. you know, there's the Folio, which most times Folio people. Weekly. They're out there, you know, whatever. I, I I ain't gonna talk shit on them. I was in the folio one time with the band. It was pretty cool. Mm-hmm. Uh, but, I mean, I, I've never read them. I've never sat down and read the articles. <laughs> I think we've talked about putting a list together of like people and places that we do want to reach out to. Yeah. Um, I think these type of things are going to be your bread and butter. I think, yeah. honestly, uh, definitely call Connor. Get a, get in touch with Connor. Yeah, over for sure. Yeah, he's in the chat right now, actually. Connor, okay, Connor, you need to have these guys on your show because he's got a pretty good reach. So yeah. uh, he's he's definitely out there. I mean, he's the most consistent podcaster I've ever seen. He said, uh, love the shirt, Jim. Shout out. That would be an awesome event. Yeah, he's about to have uh, Stay Young on. Um, nice. Yeah, I saw that. I watched Jennifer's episode and then um, really his mm-hmm. episode with Ty. Did you watch my episode? I was I on did, there. Yeah, I did watch your episode. <laughs> That's how I found it. Well, you might have to listen to it. I don't know if he has it on his YouTube. but <laughs> It's all right. But thanks so much for letting us come on here and talk about the cam. Because you guys are all, you know that you're all, camp. Cam's, he's like a fucking, you know, he's been on here almost as many times as Russell. <laughs> I love that. So, yeah. I know. This, this is my was third only time. My se- I love it. This was my second time. Okay, I'm almost there. I'm going to catch up. Oh, yeah. it's a great experience, but. Yeah, Jim, you're amazing. Oh, no. You're our favorite podcast. Listen, Aww. if you want to hey, come to I'm the, the camp, you can come According to the Folio Weekly, I'm the number four podcast in Jacksonville. All right. See, that's why I'm gonna do my own magazine. I'm the third loser. I, there's just so <laughs> there's so many more people that needs to, you know, be published, and I feel like yeah. that could be another great way to kind of just get people's name out there. Like, right. just well, do our own fucking magazine. Yeah, I, I don't like. I want the fame without the fame. Does that yeah, make any exactly. sense? Like, I don't want people to really. I don't give a fuck about being famous. I mm-hmm. want I want people to watch this shit, mm-hmm. you know, and so that they can see you. Or yeah. whoever's on that side of the table, because this is their pot. Whoever's over there, whether it's you or anyone else, this is that person's podcast. Mm-hmm. It's not my podcast. I'm just here to fucking ask questions and talk. Yeah. You know, that's my whole thing. And yeah, I'm not like a fucking I don't like interviews. You know, I'm not an interviewer. So I miss a lot of shit, you know, and then I'll, I'll be driving down the road tomorrow going, fuck, I should have asked him this, you know, but mm-hmm. then I'll just be like, ah, fuck it. I'll have one again. We'll yeah. talk you about. were like the first person to, after we solidified, like, oh, we're going to do this idea. You were literally like the first person I texted. I was like, hey, can we come on your show and yeah. talk about this camp? Yeah, well, absolutely. Sure. Well, I appreciate that. I really do. And, you know, you don't even have, as long as I got an open slot, which I mean, you know, I, I don't know how it's happening, but I have not had yet. You know, an issue where there's like, and I'm not superstitious at all. I don't know why I really did that. But I am at an issue where it's like finding a guest, Mm -hmm. like ever. You know, and when I do, there's always somebody that comes through in a clutch. It was the last week. It was Blake. Yeah, it was Blake. My -hmm. cousin Blake came on last week. I mean, you know. So, I mean, that was cool. I mean, we got to catch up with him, you know. But, um, yeah, no, it's a blessing to be able to do this and have people actually watch yeah. Yeah. I mean, and listen. You're amazing. Are you nice? You know, I, hey, don't pump me up too much, man. I won't be able <laughs> no, to get through that fucking seriously. door. seriously. 
Well, I appreciate it. You guys are fucking amazing. And I, I, I love all of the talent that you are collecting. You know, you guys are like collectors of talent. You mm-hmm. know, mm-hmm. you're like fucking Thanos getting gems and yeah. you're making your fucking ring. <laughs> that's what that's what I want to do. Like, I think in like three to five years, like I want to have an agency where if somebody has an idea and they come to me, I have like the black book. I said it on your first in my first mm-hmm. interview. I want to have the black book where I'm like this photographer, these models, okay. blah, blah, blah. Like, right. Know how to make it it's work. It's a journey. Like obviously being, you know, having ideas and being or having a step into entrepreneurship like you it's a journey you want to bring people along with you that yeah so i want to bring you guys along <laughs> yeah no i feel the, ex- yeah, I guys, feel the exact yeah. same way because it really is like it's such a team mentality mm-hmm. like we're all so good at what we do yeah, yeah. but we all complement and we talked about that too when we talk about people for the camp like who should we reach out to and just the flow of me and cameron and maziel and steven and jennifer it's like we are all so good at what we do, mm-hmm. but we're also individualistic in what we do. Mm-hmm. Well, not to open up a whole nother ball of wax, but, you know, one of the things that I love about you guys is that, you know, what you're doing, especially for young people that are coming up, uh, you're, you're creating a safe environment mm-hmm. for them because we all know, I mean, I, I say we all know, I've heard horror stories. I've had friends that were, you know, like, models for yeah. you know, major corporations and major you know whatever and it's you know D- they got me too yeah you know what i'm saying i'm just saying like it's not a always a safe environment especially for females it's just not you yeah. know the the industry is run by a bunch of fucking nasty old white dudes and mm-hmm. they're just you know you got I don't feel that at all this way with this community too. No, so I get that. I that's f- what I'm saying. Yeah, that's, yeah. I'm no, I agree too. with you. Yeah, no, I, I think that, and I hopefully this will infect, and you're going to give these people a good experience mm-hmm. coming into the, you know, because I, like I said I've heard horror stories of young people getting in and going, oh shit, this is yeah. what it is, and, and their they parents, have to be whistleblowers, their and... parents push them into it. They don't. Yeah. So a lot of times they don't even want it. Mm-mm. And their parents are like, you're so pretty. You should be a fucking model. And yeah. then they're like, okay, now so I'm a model. That was like yeah. the whole premise of that movie, Sounds of Freedom. Mm. <clears throat> right. Mm. They took the parent, dropped those two kids off for modeling thing, and then yeah. they just got abducted, and it took what, years yeah. to find Crazy. them. It's, it's sick. Yeah. It's, it's sick. a sad world out there, but, I mean, thank God for people like you that are making it brighter. Aw. Mm. Wow. That's so sweet. What a way to end a podcast. Yeah. <laughs> that was like a great ending. Yeah, yeah. And I have to pee ending. again. So Oh dear Jesus. I'm actually oh, hey, right I'm right behind you too. Oh my god. We have two bathrooms. You guys can <laughs> unless you're gonna one sits and one stands. I don't know. Anyway. <laughs> thank you guys for watching. Uh hopefully you know, I didn't fuck up too much for you, but you know, this is this is apparently is the shittiest podcast or oh, whatever that guy up. said. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. I can't remember it, but it was funny. Fuck so, them all. Let God. I, honestly, you want to if you want to leave bad comments on the podcast, do that because it obviously engagement, works. baby. It's engagement. I got you know we had a huge boost in views, so I'll take it. But uh, um, I love you guys, and I appreciate you uh, tuning in every week. And I'll be here next week. The beauty and the fucking beard will be Woo! back. Now, I am going to broadcast it to my channel, this channel you're watching right now, as well as Jennifer's channel, but we're also going to broadcast it to our specific channel for the Beauty and the Beard. Okay. And eventually, we're going to take the So I got to send comments off. from all different ones? You, I mean, if you feel like it. Absolutely. You know, for the we'll engagement. We'll I'll do what it. I got to do for you. Yeah, we'll take You can go back in the, you know, afterwards and do it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And leave comments. But yeah. No, I'm going to um, watch it live and comment from three different <laughs> ones. Absolutely. Well, I eventually, got of time. hopefully, eventually, we'll just kind of streamline it, streamline it into, you know, just that one YouTube channel. But uh, yeah, so hopefully that'll work and everything will be going and it'll be fun. It'll yeah. be, I, I miss my friend. So, uh, you guys, thank you for coming with on and sitting with us. Thank you, Jim. We love you. Me again, love you. Thank you for having me, Jim. All right, we'll see you next time. Wait, no, that one, not that one, that (laughs) one. (laughs) (laughs) Woo!